side of Mirage, so Liquid are going to be up against the test straight away. Two diffuse kits coming out for the American side. Simple and Adren will be carrying those. Elijah with a smoke, which he's uh, throwing out straight away. Hiko and Nitro are going to be on the Kevlar. So already looks like Luminosity will be setting off to just get a fast play into the A bomb site. No passive play, just straight in there, straight in the face of the Liquid players. A lot of people are going to be running out of Palace as well. I wonder if Elijah, who's in the shadow position, is going to be able to do some damage here. He's also got some support from Nitro at CT spawn. It's a double kit here as well, but here goes the push. Luminosity getting in there, and now lots of frags just being traded at the moment. Actually, only one player down, and the smokes are going to be up there to really stop this uh, this retake from going as planned for Liquid. But look at this, trying to push CT spawn, and the FNX is going to pull it off with two frags, leaving everything on the shoulders of Adren. But see you later, Adren. Now on Hiko, the clutch master of the team. Thur has something to say about that. A great attempt there by Team Liquid. They uh, the perfect answer for Luminosity's push. It backed down in Cedar Spawn, unfortunately. Luminosity just got the frags when they pushed down in Cedar Spawn, and uh, that's where the last round. Nice open plant from Luminosity as well, going to triple rather than the default. So, uh, very solid pistol round, and Liquid off on the uh, wrong foot, you might say. You can see they've opted for three HEs. We've seen this before in this tournament. We'll see if they manage to uh, make good use of them. We saw, I think it was Liquid actually, who had double HEs or maybe we're on the receiving end of them on cash. But here we go. We've got three men coming through the connector area. That smoke is going to cause uh, some problems for both teams there. Fur closing the distance, but he's going to get one tap from Elise here. Looking for more kills, but Simple's gone down as well. It is an eco for Liquid. Three men still alive here, so perhaps they can get the MAC-10 that Fur drops a bit later on. Elise is still holding line connector. More things from him, but he's going to get taken down by FNX. Just two Liquid players remaining. Pico's taken down too, though. So what? Fallen and Cold, last man standing. The bomb is coming up the slope, and he has the range on Hiko, who doesn't have any weapons yet. So uh, Hiko's going to have to pull out a massive clutch in order to keep this for his team. Fallen's got no cover, and he's going to go down straight away. Now it's Cold Zero. He hasn't got the range for the MAC-10. This could really go either way. The armor penetration from the P250. He's got an MP7 as well. Instant ding from Hiko. Is he actually going to do this? Cold Zero's got less than 10 HP. This is a minute, but he's got to dance. Hiko's going to do it. Liquid back in the game. Where are these headshots coming from? This guy, how on earth did he do that? Amazing he play He doesn't even by Hiko. believe it. Yeah, amazing play by Hiko, but I have to point out the mistake there by falling. Why did he go for the plant when Cole was in the middle? He planted towards Cedar Spawn. Perhaps, well, that, that perhaps is... nerves. I mean, this crowd, I mean, there are two elements to this crowd. One is obviously the pressure that, that uh, Cold and Co are going to be feeling, but also the pressure on Liquid. But also, if things go the way of the Liquid that we saw uh, yesterday, Simple might get a bit too excited. So there's, so there's so many factors purely to this crowd. We will see how it goes. 1-1, one, one, Liquid with the guns now. We have the Force by coming out from Luminosity. And Phoenix is moving very close to the uh, connector indeed. Oh, we're looking for the shot! What? FNX, really sick one dig there over by Ticket Booth, and now Liquid, oh, the pressure's back on them again. They have to scramble to reposition here. They can feel the presence coming in. FNX once again with a Deagle. This guy is going nuts at the moment, and Taco's getting in there as well. But how is this happening? Luminosity turning the tables on Liquid, who had a way better buy. Nitro's getting in there with the UMP, but falling straight back as well with a frag. But Hiko once again Guess all who? rests on his shoulders. AG into the site, but it's going to find no target. There's the face, and Fur is going to close it down. 2-1, and Luminosity just bounced back immediately. A very simple A split there from Luminosity, and FNX just winning that round by himself, getting two entry kills there with that Deagle, and he's been playing out of his mind this tournament. I think he dropped a third bomb versus us in the group stage. So yeah, he's going to be a big factor in this Mirage game. How is it he can just walk into Connector and just one dig people? Why, why doesn't that happen to me? <laughs> I don't know, it's just ridiculous, right? <laughs> well, this time, we, yeah. this time we've got four HEs coming in from the Liquid side. Normally you can often see uh, Force Bar after Force Bar in a situation, but it seems Liquid going to be a little more passive. Where are these HEs going though? There's one top mid. There are two players top mid for the Ts as well, but they're going to try and slow things down here. Previously, after the pistol, they were moving really fast towards Connector. Fur has come from the underpass this time, so a little bit of a difference. We can see that uh, the numbers for Liquid are stacked over towards the A sites at the moment. It's minute 30 on the clock. Just one Molotov on the Luminosity Gaming side. And Fur again, he's going to be the man to uh, sack with the MP7. So 6 HP, he went mine, taking down two players. And Luminosity may read that there is a stack over towards the A-bomb site. You can see Taco trying to do a bit of harassment from Palace as well. Simple rotating. So uh, Liquid putting all their chips on the A-bomb sites at the moment. But the bomb itself might start to move, to move over towards B. 
Yeah, not too much uh, for Luminosity to do, but just take it slow at the moment. And you can see they're getting a lot of information as well. And the creepy apps is definitely a very good choice. And they've got a player by short as well in the window room. So things are looking uh, pretty, pretty solid here for Luminosity. Taco trying to confirm what's going on on this bomb site. As his teammates creep towards, and once he spots a couple players, then they're going to know that the B bomb site is open for the taking. Pretty good play here from Luminosity. Discipline. And there you go, they'll find that the B site is indeed empty. And is actually going to pick up a kill here. He's going to be challenged and get things, and that's a quick frag there for Hiko. So he's going to be able to steal away a Galil. But uh, Luminosity, you know, pulling off a pretty nice uh, anti-force buy round in this in this one. Yeah, and I kind of feel bad for Liquid. They have had really good decision making this half. On the pistol round, they went down towards C to spawn. They didn't overcommit. On the round where FNX got those two Deagle kills, they didn't overcommit in middle. But they're just getting out aim at this point. Well, Nitro is in a good position to save this Galil as the T's aren't going to overextend. Fur and Cold are quite heavily tagged, and the other two won't want to give up their rifles in the hunt, it seems. So we'll see if Nitro can do anything with this in the next round. There's not much money on the rest of the team at the moment. They're going to be between 2,000 to three and a half. So should be uh, another good round for Luminosity. Fur continues with the MAC-10 from the previous round, so we can expect him to do more uh, information finding for his team. They will be weary of that one Galil. We'll see if Nitro opts to buy any Kevlar. Indeed, he will pick up some Kevlar with it. He had a bit more money in the bank than some of his team. But the main buy will come in the next round for Liquid. So Nitro's bought a smoke and a flash as well. Hiko's got the 5-7, uh, and we know he is super strong. He's seen many highlight clips on maps such as Cash, where he plays those close corners. And uh, he's already been clutching straight away for Liquid, which is Good sign for the future. So, it seems that Luminosity is going to speed things up on this occasion. It's a very fast B split, perhaps uh, having a read on Liquid going to stack A once again, but Simple is on the hunt. Yeah, not too much to work with here for Team Liquid in this round, as expected, just managing their economy. Of course, though, Nitro did steal away, or rather, Hiko was able to get a kill on a Glil player, and Nitro has that now. So, perhaps Liquid can get a lot of damage in. Get those frags on the exits. They are starting to uh, wander around middle. And looks like Simple's going to push Fallen away from the B apps at the moment. Looks like Cole is going to be able to take down Hiko and Adren. So Liquid not able to get too much from this round so far. But there is still an Unleash, still a Simple. He's going to pick up a frag. There's the trade coming in. But what can Simple get done? No Kevlar. He's got a CZ. Going to spot the frag onto Cole. Can he claim the weapon? That's the question. We all know what Simple can do with more or less anything. He's going to find that M4, and there could be some players facing in this two at once. What is Simple going to do here? He's going to keep facing, and that's it. Fallen is going to pick him up the sky, and looks like uh, we'll go to four rounds now for Luminosity, one for Liquid. But Liquid can finally field a buy. What should they be doing with this hit? Yeah, this is actually the first real weapon round of the game, five rounds into the match. It always becomes awkward when you win back and forth there in the beginning with the four spies, but finally we can see a. Uh, and up here on Adren and uh, a lot of nades on the rest of Team Liquid. And no Kevlar on Adren though, so he will be running around naked in the nude. Let's see if Luminosity can just break Liquid once again. Or if Liquid can fight back with these weapons. Actually going for an aggressive mid-take. Paul Zero is going to find himself under quite a bit of pressure here. The aggressive incendiary. Now can he get out of there? The smoke is going to help that. Here comes the cavalry from the underpass. Simple with the frag onto FNX. Burt is trying to spray madly, but Simple picking up another one. He's going to get support here. Absolute madness in middle. Burr pulling out the Glock. Still can't find the frag. What is going on? Simple jumps straight through the window. And Burr is going to finish him off, but it is still a four versus three in favor of Liquid. Why did Simple overcommit in that battle? He got two entry kills. Like, you know, just fall back to the A site and just would have won the round 100%, but instead he went for the jumping USP. <laughs> <laughs> Nitro is standing top mid behind the smoke that entire time, and the numbers continue to dwindle on the liquid side. Things evened up now, three for three. Fur has not got much HP, so uh, his uh, HP is going to be paper thin at the moment. We'll see if the Luminosity side can get a plant. The bomb still needs to go towards default, where Elysia is holding. Down goes the bomb. And now we have... Uh, only one player on the site, and that's Fallen with an AWP. He is susceptible to being traded here. Fur is coming in quickly in T slope, but again, he's only got 7 HP, and there he goes. Quickly dispatched off by Hiko. It's Fallen versus 3 now. He can try and do as much damage as possible to the CT side, but he won't do any more damage. And I think Liquid, I mean, that, could, that really could have gone either way. Nitro is standing behind the smoke top mid, while two of his teammates fought somebody underneath the window for what seemed like an eternity. 
Yeah, Nitro could have just turned around, jumped onto the ledge and just killed further in the back here. We can see it once again, simple, getting those two enter kills. And we can see Nitro there up catwalk, close to the ledge. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Period. But that's that's the, the charm of Simple right now, is that you, this guy is just incredulous to watch because you have no idea what's going to happen when you're in his po uh, point of view. But into the next round, Liquid stringing one by together. Oh, bit of a tag there from Adren. Oh, the challenge coming in. Adren will escape, though, with 22 points of health as the mid will be taken up by the Luminosity side. Fur is going to be challenging towards Connector as well. And you can see Adren very passive, not having to give up that position. And Luminosity are going to know this, and they're going to start to abuse it. You can see Fur and Connector, Taco is in the palace, perhaps together they can make a play here onto the a bomb site we'll have to see how it's going to pan out here but these positions are very forward for luminosity and i would be worried if i was liquid the smoke went down in cpl just been resmoked as well by the t's adren and Alige instantly exchanged places so adren is on toll booth now looking into connector so if luminosity opt for the split towards a then they could be in trouble tacos in palace the bomb is still top mid fnx has been harassing b he's currently uh, playing a passive liquid need position. to take some ground back here towards connector yeah, I think uh, Nitro is playing close A slope, so they've opted to try and uh, get real estate elsewhere. But again, Fur is just waiting and waiting, but Elijah is the one who's going to be taken down in that. Uh, we've fallen on short, so he could suggest that there's going to be a B split. So they're going to sack the AWP here and put the rest of the team over towards the A bomb site. Nitro is getting more aggressive now, but it's only him and Adren left. Fallen. Will he spawn anybody? It looks like Hiko is going to take down Fallen, but FNX on the other side of the map. I mean, he's going to get the kill, but they spotted the bomb now. But will it matter? Adren is out of the picture. He's been taken down by Taco. And now it's Hiko and Simple against the world. And uh, we'll have to see if they can actually do something in this position. It's going to be a very tough one. Still uh, an amount of grenades on Fur. The smoke, a couple of flashbangs. The bomb is down. There's four players with plenty of time for the post plant. So with all of that information, Liquid, they're going to go for the save. Keep the rifles alive if they can. And uh, Simple, he's got a kit, full, uh, full Kevlar, a couple of flashes with the AWP as well. So definitely a lot of value there to save. I'm very su surprised Liquid went for that gamble, having two guys deep onto that B side, boosting Simple. Simple can't gain any information from that position, and uh, I mean, they're probably going to be able to save their weapons this round, but they just gave up middle way too easily there. And when you stack two people towards that B side, you're almost giving up the A side because the rotation times is so long when you're standing on the actual side. Right, so I mean, how do you feel about the early round play, though? Otherwise, it looks good. Yeah, I mean, they tried to contest middle, middle in the beginning. The only thing I disliked was that he didn't try to take it back once Luminosity gained uh, connector control. Well, the money is uh, pretty bad on the Liquid side at the moment. This will definitely be an eco from the players around the AWP and the M4. Never mind, that simple drop to FAMAS, actually. So let's see if a buy is going to come in here from Liquid. Indeed, they are going for what seems to be a full force. Hiko's going to leave. Uh, no, he's going with all the nades and so on. So they've got two FAMASs and M4. The AWP onto Simple now, so they're going to need a bit of explosiveness. But even with the force, they've gone to stack the A bomb site. But there's nobody there for Luminosity. Let's see if Liquid can uh, gain this information and do something about it before Hiko finds himself in a lot of trouble. Oh. The nade's not gone the right way either. It is Hiko, though, and he is. Definitely the master of these situations, but can he do this? Oh no, Taco's gonna take him down straight away. A lot of pressure on Liquid now to somehow rotate in time, but they're gonna, uh, Luminosity gonna have the site completely locked down. This is a really hard retake, to be honest. Simple's gonna go close. Oh, he's gonna miss the no scope. And that means that now his team Liquid, they are completely shut out of that site. And look at the aggression, Luminosity. They wanna clean up these weapons. Can Liquid survive here? Adren is able to defend against Taco, but it's still dangerous right now because FNX, he is on the hunt, coming in from T-Spawn. He could definitely get a couple kills here. This is a very dangerous moment for Liquid. They must keep these three weapons alive, even though Mushroom is on a 5-7. See Cold Zero making sure nobody grabs the AWP either, which obviously would be, would be very ex uh, expensive. Nice. So Nitro, will he pick up a weapon? Indeed, he's going to get an AK. So it looks like Liquid will survive with three players, although Fur and Cold are very close. Oh, Dren just peeks at the very last moment. There goes one of their rifles. And once again, Liquid going for a stack. Four people play the A site that round, and stacking the site is to tell that Liquid is giving way too much respect for Luminosity right now. They just have to play more spread out in the beginning of the rounds. Otherwise, if they're unlucky, like happened this round, Luminosity will just go the other side. They just went on to B, where Hiko was all alone. 
All right, well, this round, uh, Liquid, they're just going to go for a very fast mid-push with all the players. And this is going to be pretty chaotic right now. Will Luminosity be able to deal with this? They're going straight for a fast short push, so this actually might work out for Luminosity. The frags start to come in, now the trades. But can Liquid get these frags? They really need to shut down FNX. He's low on HP. He's going to fall back. The flash is going to go up into the sky, but Simple will get the kill. Three versus three now. But it is once again a retake situation. The bomb is going to be planted, but there's a lot of pressure and not much time, if any, to get post plant positions here for Luminosity. Tacos picks up the AWP. He's only got one HP, so he's going to be definitely better off with the uh, one-shot cannon. Let's see, all the players coming in from short. We've got a CT boosted, that's Nitro. That smoke is soon disappearing. Simple with the running boost is not going to work out for him. Fallen taking down Hiko as well. So it's Nitro to uh, try and save what he can. And again, we mentioned it uh, yesterday that things that might work against a weaker team are probably not going to work against Luminosity. It's definitely going to be a harder task all round here for Liquid. So. Luminosity are going to extend their lead to five rounds. Again, this was an eco for Liquid, despite the weapons that they had in the hole. They've lost a few rounds in a row now, so we should, be a, should see a buy coming out for the CT side, but it's not going to be a great one. I really hope they will go for the mid-control once again. The only round we saw them won was when they had two people in the window and Nitro pushed Catwalk. So let's see if they try to go for a similar setup or if they try to go for the more like the super passive setup they had on B. And right now we can see that uh, Dren's actually got the open in hand. It would be nice to see him actually throw it to simple, but he's got a spawn. Perhaps he wants to get straight into a fast angle, and indeed he's going to look for this, the uh, slope pick. He will be denied initially, and then back to connector. And Luminosity looking like they might want to go very quickly here, perhaps even through the, the smoke of the CTs into this A bomb site. But right now, Liquid are pushing Beyonce to two people, but it's not that information's not going to come more uh, quickly enough. A with the first frag. Nitro's in there as well with the AK. They're actually holding on here. Elise as well chiming in. Two players left for Luminosity. Liquid with four still left standing. But we'll push the smoke. And he's going to find a Dread, but somehow, some way, a Dread makes it work. Quick flick with the AWP, and he's going to show once again. He's going to prove all those haters wrong, as he has done this entire tournament. Cold now is against four players as they surround him. From the back. And he's, just, he's got lots of time here, just waiting for that ticket. Seeing if Liquid will make a mistake and push him prematurely. And he might just get that. Nitro, first man to fall now. Three left, and Simple shoots him in the back. Liquid, with a, an explosive, def explosive defense there on the A side, will go to three rounds. And a very cool setup there from Liquid, having Nitro just going for the information play from the ticket booth. Two guys towards connector going to for that middle control, and wouldn't be surprised if they just tried to go for a similar setup here. Team Liquid have picked up a, seven, a second AWP, which means the uh, human cannon simple is going to be unleashed. We'll see if he is able to go full FPL mode or if he is going to be dispatched of quickly. He is going into mid, he is going onto short, and he's looking into the gap. Oh, nice. NBA is here. Fallen has been sent into another dimension, and that is a very early frag for Liquid, but Taco is going to get sweet revenge for his team. Simple onto short now, super fast, but uh, Luminosity are changing the approach and they're keeping Liquid guessing. We've seen fast B plays, we've seen Shock and Awe towards A, lots of fast mid plays at the beginning, and now things are slowing down on the T side. Yeah, it's actually, I wonder if that's a read that Liquid have from watching demos that Fallen sometimes goes for the really fast uh, pick there when he has an AWP on slope, because it was a perfectly timed double HE and that was it. Fallen didn't even get to do anything, so of course the, ta the trade does come in. But a double up here for Liquid is certainly going to be a different beast for Luminosity to deal, to deal with. Seems like there's going to be a, a B play with Cold holding rotations via short because he's at the back of mid, but he's got no support whatsoever. The, the remaining three Luminosity players are heading towards Simple. Dan's warming his hands up because he's expecting some carnage here, but these are very sharp shooters on the Brazilian side. He's double scoped in, down goes Fur. There are two more coming his way. We've got pop flashes coming in. He's got Hiko in for support as well. Hiko just waiting there. I mean, he may not even be needed. Simple is still on the angle. Hiko will spot one dropping in. Simple's actually kind of close with the AWP, but Hiko turns around, grabs FNX, shuts him down. Now it's Taco up there, and Simple's caught the angle. See you later, Taco. Just cold now. Left standing for the Brazilian side. He's going to get shot in the back here. He's got no idea which way to look at this point. This round is going to be more or less impossible for for Cold to save. I mean, Cold is a beast, but with 10 seconds left, he's just going to try to hope to save his weapon and not die after time. Liquid with a good defense, all started with Simple in the apps, and with no pot flash to, to get Simple off of that angle. 
Oh, looks like actually Colby charged it, and Nitro's gonna get the kill off the time. That's a big win for Liquid. Yeah, winning two rounds in a row, it means they are able to build up some kind of bank. I like the idea there from Luminosity going towards that B side, as if you're only four CDs remaining, you usually tend to have only one guy on the B side, but I don't think they ex expected Simple to have an up there. I think that was a good round for Simple's confidence. You can see there he is feeling the pressure. The two orps continue here for Team Liquid. Three round deficit now, seven rounds on the T side. Looking pretty good for Luminosity so far, and Hit Liquid will need to defend as much as possible. Going aggressive towards A slope, our Liquid playing around the smoke. Seems that perhaps we might see a flash coming in. Adren is going to take down FNX, and that's going to be a good boost for him. But we've got trades coming in from Cold Zero. Two players in mid for Luminosity on this eco. But here comes the challenge up Slope and Palace. Luminosity going to be pushing the smoke, but Nitro is there. No entry for Luminosity into that A bomb site. But can they still find a way? They do have still presence towards Connector and Tanker. Of course, he hasn't really got much to work with, just a PG50 there. There is a Deagle in the hands of Cold towards the window area, and he may just have seen a pixel. It looks like he, like he didn't see Pico there, just missed him. He's going to go forwards, and Taco has found himself an AWP, a juicy. Juicy AWP, but what can he get with this position? Cold having to spin around. Hiko will get the frag there, and it's looking very dark indeed in this round for Luminosity. Nitro sends Taco's body lifeless down the stairs. Fallen, only one frag, not enough. Liquid are really coming back into this one. Five rounds for them. It's still a hard road, but they are making some inroads at the moment. Yeah, look at their money now. Three players with almost over 5k, so... I wouldn't be surprised if Liquid actually will take the remaining rounds of the SAF now, eight, winning 8-7. The double orps continue rescued once oh, again. Oh, James. Is that what I think it is whoa, on whoa, the whoa, 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 Is whoa, that whoa, what whoa. I think it is? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what is this? This is not Rambo part three. We're not, we're not in NAM, guys. This, to be honest, it is quite legit to play close a slope with a shotgun. Here we go. A Negev. <laughs> Here we go. Threat's quite proficient with an M249, so maybe you want to cast this round. Which things are going to begin, but the push is coming. Two frags. The Negev is going to be shut down by FNX. But there are only two Ts remaining. The bombs on the floor as well. Two CTs remaining. Cole's in a tight spot, though, because he's in somewhat of a crossfire. He goes coming in for the peak. He goes going to go down. It's down to Adren. The uh, unexpected talisman of the team. Oh, missing the clip there. Fish and chips. He's not going to get the frag. Cold and FNX are going to get tagged, but the round continues. Can't even blame the, the negative there because, hey, he still picked up two kills, to be honest. That's pretty respectable from this position. Suppressing fire! <laughs> Suppressing fire! Yeah, the biggest problem here is that Liquid is actually out of money now. And Elish would have been able to drop a... Oh, they will actually buy, but he would have been able to drop an M4. Question he didn't was, the question is, <laughs> the question is was, that, was that on purpose or not? But it was, it was glorious for the short time it lasted. <laughs> Both teams back on the buy. Obviously, Team Liquid going to be quite limited. Will this mean aggression? We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Adren and Simple coming towards CPL there. Got Simple, uh, he's going to get boosted, actually. Interesting to see what can be made of this. Adren going to try and escape, oh. and Simple is going to uh, take down FNX elsewhere. Ruthless aggression coming in from the Ukrainian. Oh, but looks like actually first trying to sneak into that connector area. He's going to have a meeting here with Adren, but Adren takes him down. Elise defeating Taco, and now once again Luminosity finding themselves down a few men with no ground to work with. It's going to be hard to save this one. Liquid looking very good to go to those six rounds, and of course after the last losing that last round, their, their money is is awful. So they really needed this one. The money sucks on to, both teams right now. To be able to take this, the next round as well. So Liquid looking quite good for that 7-8. So long as they can shut down Cold and, and Fallen here. But Cold and Fallen, I mean, these guys know the Liquid. It's all the pressure. That this is the kind of stage where any kind of mistakes can happen. So we can see that Fallen is making uh, the move now through the apps. And still Cold Zero is looking in mid. I mean, he could catch a rotation as Liquid might feel a bit confident having five players to go for some info in mid. But no one just yet. Liquid playing very disciplined, sticking to the sights. So I like this. He is fallen. He is, of course, very dangerous with this. Will he be able to guess right, though? It's going to be a guessing game for sure. 30 seconds left to play with. Simple is just insurance at this point on the B side. Here we go. They're going to make their way in. Cold has been spotted. Fallen knows that his position is still a surprise. And that's Cold Zero done. Fallen with the flick. It's not good. It's Hiko once again. Six rounds for Liquid. Yeah. 
Liquid looking great right now. The problem is Luminosity already have eight rounds right. on the board. And I think they're, that's more than enough for them going into the CD side. But if Liquid can keep this momentum going into the T side, win the pistol round, maybe force Luminosity into a bad economy, they have an opening back into this map. It's the last round of the first half. And we see, obviously, the force by coming out from Luminosity. They cannot muster a single rifle. Four Tech Nines, the one P250 onto F and X, and very limited nades as well. So perhaps we're going to see a fast play from the side with very limited resources. FNX moving through the smoke on short. So it looks like the B split is on. And look how deep the Liquid players are towards A. If there's a fast pick in favor of Luminosity, Liquid could be in a lot of trouble here. A lot of trouble indeed. And with the dynamic duo, Hiko and Simple. Oh, Hiko's gonna get safe just initially, but he will eventually go down. Simple, number two. Still more players charging into him. And he's only gonna be good for two, but Adren's gonna be coming in there with the sniper as well. And it's a three versus two situation for Liquid as they try to go for the retake. Fallen has to go close to the tech line. Nays going in. There's the turn. Fallen will drop Adren, trying to body the last players of Liquid. But it's a bit chaotic here on the bomb site, and they might not expect Elise to come into this position. This is so smart of Elise waiting for Luminosity to make the move with the bomb first. And he hears the stepping. Elise was all over that play. And now Fallen's got a lot of work to do. Nitro's in CC spawn, just waiting, but his teammate will tell him the beeps have begun. Bombs down, and the flank is coming in. Fallen has absolutely no idea where Nitro could be. Oh, somehow he misses the shot. He must have moved before firing. Got to be careful about that molly as well. Elise comes in from the back in the last round of the first half. We'll go to Liquid. Seven to eight in favor of the Brazilians. And a good comeback there from Liquid. If they only would have adapted quicker to the mid-takes from Luminosity, they had a very weird opening, having those two guys stacked on the B side. Maybe they watched a demo and they saw some sort of tell from Luminosity because otherwise that play doesn't make any sense at all. Right, and as you're saying, it's quite cool to see Liquid came back into this one because at the beginning it was... I mean, they, I think they were 2-7 down. Yeah, I, mean, I think, I think uh, Thress made this point before. Like One of the, the toughest things is getting reset like they did at the start, and obviously they, that's why they went down so much to begin with, it's a really hard position to deal with, but we can also see some pressure coming in at the end there, Fallen, Fallen actually missing that first orb shot, I don't think he normally would ever miss that shot, but you can see that the pressure is definitely mounting on these players. Yeah, and if they win the pistol round, don't lose the force by, they will be up 10-8 as T, which is decent, the problem is Luminosity has a great seat to side, Fur and FNX, probably the best A players on Mirage in the world. FNX is just amazing at being aggressive A slow. So we've got some work here from Simple with some wild, some wild plays. So what were your thoughts on this threat? Yeah, so guess those two kills and I... This is uh, FPL! FPL! <laughs> Didn't work out on no. that occasion. But hey, they, from 2-7 they came back to... Uh, Make things seven to eight. So definitely there's a lot of opportunity to be had for both sides, but Liquid will need some strong executes to defeat Luminosity Gaming, one of the most drilled teams in the game at present. Very strong individual players as well. So we'll see what they can do. And I think we saw uh, the primary AWP going to Adren on the CT side, but one would have to imagine that Simple is going to be fully unleashed on the T side of the AWP. Yeah, I mean, Thre, you guys played, uh, uh, MIP played against Luminosity on this map and you, you had a bit of a hard time. Um, so did you feel like you kind of worked, did you figure it out against what, how to attack into Luminosity CT defense? Well, it's quite easy to take middle against Luminosity. The problem is when you're trying to rotate back T-spawn, it's so hard to trade versus FNX and Fur in that A slope. Even though you know they're gonna be aggressive either apps or the slope, they're just so on point with their positioning and their crossfires. So let's see if Liquid have a better answer than I think this is going to be a contact B play or just a straight rush because they have got all Kev on a liquid side and absolutely no nades whatsoever straight rushing acceptable to nades but there are no nades for luminosity either they're going all the way in to the B bomb site and there's nobody there for luminosity they've got three people on short but there are no threats for anyone yet despite the range first going to be the first man to go down and simple and his teammates can go and take post plant positions Fallen is going to go down as well. Nitro and Hiko are falling off. Is the bomb even planted yet? More frags coming in for the T side. Just down to FNX now. They should hear where he is. And there we go. Adren with two kills, two headshots. Liquid take the pistol and a great chance to take the lead in this match. And that looked like a straight out anti-strat from Team Liquid. They just rushed the B bomb site. 
and three players short there from Luminosity. I wouldn't be surprised if Liquid just did their homework there and they knew that Luminosity likes to do that play. It's funny because it does look like otherwise a matchmaking strat. So, rush B, rush B! <laughs> no stop! Hey, it works sometimes, even in professional level. We're gonna see uh, the 8 8, so here we go. The force by coming in from Luminosity falls on a scout, so that's of course always gonna be dangerous. And we'll see that the Deagle and CZs out there. So, Liquid, we need to see a very, very solid anti force buy from them. And there's no, only one Molotov in the hands of Adren, who is uh, in the B apps at the moment. So, what is the plan here for Liquid as far as their anti force goes? Very risky here taking mid only with two people, as Fallen could have easily been in the window there, tagging the first player. But luckily for them, they got mid control and they should be able to take this round from here because now they can just go for a connector split. Speaking of Connector, you can see FNX and Fur have a uh, huge crossfire going on. And uh, we saw this smoke come in from, uh, I think, CLG actually, on their previous match of Mirage. But no one is going up short on this occasion, which was a problem last time. Liquid are going to go all the way through the apps. But again, they've got one smoke and no flashes right now. And they, I think they might have been spotted by uh, Taco here. So he is going to have a peek, but wait for his teammates to rotate, and indeed rotation is coming. Only two CTs on the site right now though, but uh, Liquid are being so slow that FNX and Fur are making their way in. There's 40 seconds left, and it seems Liquid don't want to commit. They're just giving the CT time to rotate into the bomb site. Uh, Dren's going to be the first one in, and the first one to go down. Taco traded, FNX goes down as well, so it could go in Liquid's favor, but he needs to find more frags. He's running out of time to plant the bomb and clear the site at the same time. Got a Deagle and Fallen with the scout. Fallen is in the shot and he's the last man standing. One versus two now. One versus one. He goes being headshot and it's down to a liege. The bomb's not even planted yet. There are 15 seconds left on the clock and the MP7 is picked up. He's got to clutch it for his team. He is just about going to do that, but really, Liquid are playing with fire. Very risky play there from Liquid, waiting so long after Tackle spotted them in that B episode. So there were almost four CDs, CTs on that actual site when they made the push. That is a viable play if you have Molotovs, because then you can actually Molotov the entire site, so you deny the stack, but they just waited in the windows there for, I think, at least 10 seconds. Yeah, it was almost like, like they hesitated about rotating, but no map control, perhaps not enough time. That's a dangerous way of playing an anti-eco. And the strange, here thing, uh, strange thing here is that they don't have any Molotovs, but at least they're going to go for a straight rush. And hey, you know, they're going to uh, roll pretty well here because they want to stack the wrong bomb site. Taco's going to go down easily, and now Team Liquid would have kind of auto won this round, and they shouldn't even take any damage here. But uh, definitely, I mean, they, they could certainly have run into a stack here. They didn't take any information across the map. There were no Molotovs to try to cl uh, preemptively clear positions into the site. That could have been a little bit scary. Uh oh. We've seen this before with Virtus Pro, but Cold is not going to be as successful as VP were many moons ago. No uh, cheeky kill for Cold. Simple has gone down, but other than that, there's not much going on here for the CT side on their eco. But again, Li Li Liquid will need to have uh, better anti-ecos, anti-force buys if they want to beat a team to the level of Luminosity, Dan. Otherwise, they'll have to go to an anti-eco seminar with CLG. Two very different approaches to the anti-eco here for <laughs> Liquid. The first round they waited until there were 20 seconds left on the clock. And this round they just went for the straight B-Rush. And going for the straight B-Rush can actually be effective when you do it with SMGs. It's extremely hard to hold that side. The only problem is you can just run into um, a B-Stack. All right, so you can see uh, Hiko communicating with his team there. Leading the troops. Liquid uh, taking... Uh, the lead actually in this match now after that very tumultuous start in the first half. But can they keep it going now? The buy is up for Luminosity. Luminosity down on some grenades, but perhaps they can be up on the shirts. Fur doing just fur things here, trying to push the palace. They should expect this. This guy is so aggressive. And as Threat said, you know they're going to be doing this, but it still, it still could be so difficult to stop anyway. The players are so damn good. But Liquid actually abandoning uh, the slope and palace side of the map, opting to go towards B once again. And B is going to be where Taco is defending. An M4, but no grenades. Could be tough here for Taco to hold this. He's got no support as well. If Liquid go for this, which it looks like they're about to. Taco's going to have to be more than a man to defend this one. Oh, he's going to jump, but... Uh, 
The whack-a-mole is not going to happen on this occasion. So Liquid go charging in with Hiko holding a flank. It's Taco alone. Cold is in the uh, ladder room. Coming in from short now. Is he going to get there fast enough? We've got Taco just trying to waste time for his teammates to come in, but he's going to go down. Cold goes down as well. Is this going to be a safe situation already for Luminosity? Hiko moving to top mid now. With Furin Palace, FNX moving away from the site. Indeed, the CTs are going to go for the save. Will Liquid go for the hunt? FNX and Hiko going to have a meeting of the minds, it seems, towards T-Spawn. And now Liquid, knowing where the CTs might be saving, could go on the charge. And it seems that Lu Luminosity aren't interested in giving Simple early frags in mid, as uh, Fallen had the AWP, but he went over towards, mid, towards A with three players looking into T-Slope and then putting Cold in ladder room to make sure there's no boost shenanigan going on. Seems to be Lu the way Luminosity wants to play. Great decision making there from Liquid once again. They knew that they had spent a lot of money on that second round force buy, which means they don't have a lot of utility to work with this round. And you need utility on that B side to delay the push for the rotation to come in. I don't think Taco had a single nade that round. So he just went to the back of the B side and there was nothing he could do. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty depressing to be in his position there. It's like, well, <laughs> guess, guess that's, that's lost that round. <laughs> that round's over then. <laughs> Look at this simple, hyping up the crowd. Simple is loving it. He needs to be supercharged by yeah. these voices. Got the fans on their feet now. So we've got a CT timeout at the moment. Luminosity three rounds behind the T side now. This is not where they wanted or expected to be. And they do indeed have decisions to make here as they have managed to uh, save three guns. Taco's bought full armor, including a helmet which uh, might not be the best idea considering the limited money, but it seems Luminosity going to buy around the rifles they have saved. And the frustrating thing for Luminosity now is that Liquid show them, OK, we can just go for the straight B push, which means that Cold Sierra, who has the gap that plays aggressive short, he will always have it in the back of his mind that he has to stand close towards B, which means he can't gain that map control you can gain from uh, the vent room. So it's going to be really interesting to see if Cold Sierra decides to continue to commit towards middle, or if you're actually going to try to help Taco this time. There we go. Some support for Luminosity in the crowd as well. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Fur is a man who is willing to play with almost any gun in the game at close quarters. Oh. He's picked up an MP9. <laughs> oh, man. That is. When the, when the, the pan you know what? zoom out there. That's like, that's, <laughs> like when, that's like when you're trying to go through double doors and dust two and you get blocked by someone. <laughs> I respect the willingness to leave the house of kittens on your top, mate. <laughs> All right, so the countdown is about to end from this timeout. We'll see what Luminosity have in plan. They have a few more nades than they had in previous rounds. The next has no nades whatsoever, so we'll see what they choose to do. Liquid seem to be uh, just playing a numbers game, moving into sites where Luminosity will be ill-equipped to deal with the aggression. All right, so AWP onto both sides. Simple is going to be orping for his team again. Last time he went towards mid, this time he's going, he has a good spawn for uh, A actually, and he could be going for a fast pick if someone's trying to get to connector quickly, but he's going to get pop flashed immediately for coming in to play close again with that uh, oh so glorious MP9. How far will he go though? Simple has backed up a bit and he's just waiting for the CTs to serve themselves, looking for that cheap steak. And Liquid is ready for Luminosity. Having an off-holding aggression from A slope, it means they really know that Fur and FNX likes to play that position aggressively. Yeah, but it will be Liquid actually just taking the bomb towards the Beamps at the moment. It is uh, Fallen with the AWP in that position, so Fallen could be in a spot to shut down Liquid in this round. We'll have to see how that goes. The damage that he does or does not do is going to be so important going into this. The first line of defense, and here they come. The Liquid Massive is readying themselves. The Mandem, Dan. The Mandem are coming, but is Fallen going to be able to drop them? Five Here goes on the right. first one. He's going to miss the first shot. I don't think he can afford to do that. They're charging onto the bomb site now. Fallen's in so much trouble. There's one shot from Fallen, taking down Nitro. He's still alive, still on the site. Adren is going to miss the shot as well. Fallen, how is he still in this bomb site? He's buying such key time here for Luminosity to make the rotation. Elise is going to win the battle against Taco. And Liquid slowly but surely overwhelming the side, but Fallen's still alive. Where the hell did FNX come from? Elise is going to hit the ground now as 
Hiko trades back onto FNX. Absolute madness in the trace. All down to Hiko. One versus two. Fallen gets it done. Unbelievable defense from the man himself. It's Fallen. Perfect play by Fallen right there. Not only did he get, was it four kills? At least three. He delayed them so much. He waited for the rotation. I think there were three guys on that B side when they actually went down there with the bomb. So Fallen just won that round by himself. Let's see what the money looks like on the CT side once everyone leaves spawn. It's not very good at all. Liquid have won four rounds from five in the second half here. If they are able to take Luminosity down, then perhaps that could be a, a game-winning round for them. We'll see how it goes. Simple, ob obviously, with his uh, signature aggression. And again, Luminosity choosing to abandon mid. But the problem is they're putting three people towards A. And if Liquid choose to keep abusing the B bomb site, then... Luminosity may find themselves too late to adjust as their money again is not in the right place. And look where the bomb is here. The bomb's been left in B apps and there's nobody there for Liquid. Four people opting to stand in the middle area for the time being and try and weaken the defenses. So I think it's quite clear where their ultimate decisions are. It does seem as though, you know, there's a lot of information gathered by Liquid here. They can definitely play the game of deduction, work out where the defense is, but here's the first pop flash in there. That's didn't hit, but Aliso takes the frag onto Taco. Now Cole is going to have his attention towards that short area, but where are Liquid going to go? They can still go anywhere as far as Luminosity are concerned. Cold has everything to do by himself. This onslaught is going to be so overwhelming right now. Simple gets the tag onto Cold. Oh my goodness, Cold is dead. There's nothing he could do there. Aliso is going to push on forwards, and Liquid over run that B bonsai there's nothing luminosity can do in this position they've just got to sit back and hope that liquid allow them to keep their weapons at this point and all the gambles in this game luminosity went for a three-man stack on that a side fallen playing the ticket position for an fnx playing aggressive leaving cold or sort of tackle completely alone in that vent room it's they really respect the a push there because otherwise i don't think they would have had three people towards that a side Liquid doing some masterful plays here. Both teams are trying to hard counter each other and it's not really working out for Luminosity. They're trying to avoid simple as much as possible. They're giving up mid. Uh, but again, they're just putting the men, the men in the wrong place, putting three towards the A site here. But the retakes on B, once the once their defense have gone down there, it's pretty much the round over, as we're seeing, all hiding in Palace. If they lose A, then perhaps they can try and go for the retake here. But uh, again, they need to make adjustments. But the problem is, if they do make an adjustment and put an extra person towards B, Perhaps Liquid start mixing things up and going towards A. It's a very difficult time here for Luminosity. Yeah, what Luminosity should do now is just let Fallen play that ticket position on A, play the retakes on A and have three rifles playing middle aggressively from short window and connector because you have fast rotations from mid and Fallen is a great opera from the ticket position. So that would be the optimal setup for them right now. You can see Fallen is not going towards ticket. He's in fact going towards the B bomb side, the B as perhaps again. And now we'll have uh, Liquid. There's a couple players towards slow. We haven't seen a heavy challenge there, but Simple is going to take down Fur. Fur, usually the king of that palace position, will find himself meeting his demise at the hands of none other than Simple, as Simple's teammates now start to clamber their way up the slope into the A bomb side. An oppressive force has found its way into that A site in the name of Liquid. And Simple again, he gets another entry frag. What the hell are Luminosity going to do? Once again, Liquid completely crush a bombsite and all the momentum is swinging their way. This is exactly what I, what I said. What if Luminosity adjusts and then Liquid mix it up? And that's what's happening. This is uh, horrible. Some uh, consolation frags at this point for Luminosity, but really their money is in tatters. Liquid money is not fantastic either, but the rounds are going their way. I'm sure they'll be able to pick up that orb from Simple as well and uh, unleash him in yet more rounds. So Liquid looking really good for the first game here. They're trying to hunt some of these players down as well. Fallen must keep that AWP alive if Luminosity want to have a chance in the future rounds at the moment. He's got so much value with the incendiary on him as well. Full grenades, kit, everything. And there is the first player. I think Nitro may have spotted him. Oh, what a shot there from Fallen. Good stuff to keep himself alive in this. But this is kind of crazy. Liquid are three rounds away from taking map one. If Liquid take this series, we're going to see a North American team. And if they win this the, map, the second map is Cash. Yeah. A map that Luminosity lost versus Virtus Pro on earlier today. So they might be looking to go, in, go into 2 0 then. It, it's, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Potentially at the first North American major. 
I mean, we, we don't ever see North American teams even in the playoffs. They, they could be in the grand finals. Well, let's, let's not call it too early right now, but Liquid definitely looking quite strong at the moment. Luminosity struggling a little bit. Let's see if they can adjust in this round. Force by from Luminosity. Famas is all over the shop. They've got a reasonable amount of nades, but again, they're just giving up mid. Just giving it for free to the uh, T's. And you can see Simple just jumping around, having a look. But there's nobody to uh, engage him here. He's going to have to search deeper to try and find some people to rip in half. Cold Zero is playing around the smoke on shore. Other than that, not much going on here for Luminosity, other than Taco being isolated once again. It's, an, it's a lonely, cold world over there towards the B bomb side. We've got Dren being boosted as well. So they're trying to find some sneaky angles. But again, it seems that like their target is weakening the B bomb site. Look at this presence here from Liquid in middle. It's very oppressive, to be honest. And Luminosity are definitely feeling it. Look at the peak there from Taco, but that's the last peak he's going to get to make in this round. Sent straight to the bench by Simple. Just four men left standing now for the Brazilian team. They still have three towards A. Oh, what is this? That is, some, that is some solid snake stuff there from Elise, taking down Cold in the window. And once again, Liquid just going to stroll into the B bomb site. They're on segways, Dan. Luminosity. This is, how many times have we seen this where they just get the bomb site and Luminosity is so far away that they can't even attempt a retake? And there's no chemistry for Luminosity in middle. They just, like one guy was hidden in window. Another guy just took a peek by himself. There's no... They're playing scared. Yeah, they're, yeah, exactly. They don't talk with each other. They should go like, okay, let's pop flash on three, one, two, three. Let's push middle together. Instead, they're just taking angels one by one versus simple, which is on point right now. Yeah, yeah. They, they're, they're basically playing afraid of simple. They're like, yeah, let's not challenge him because he's good. And, well, he's extremely good. So let's just not challenge him. Just give up the middle of the map. It's not working for them. Yeah. And now they're running out of money and rounds in order to make an adjustment here. The, the most any of their team has is Taco with $400. Yeah, if, you, if your game plan is taking aim jewels against Simple, I think you need to go back to the drawing board. That's not going to happen. Oh, there you go. At least going to take down Fallen. That is a really big loss. The AWP, once again, has been denied. And Luminosity don't have any money. They need, they need an eco. The eco li liquid go to 15 rounds. They'll be on map point on, on the first map here in the semi-final. This is completely unthinkable. What is unfolding here in, in front of our eyes? Who would have predicted any of this? The thing is, because of the way the CTs, well, Luminosity are playing right now, if they are shut out of this map and we go to map two, you have to wonder what their mental frame of mind will be after getting yeah. such a beatdown, basically. Playing scared and just getting whipped, whipped in the corner of the prison yard. Oh my God. <laughs> What a picture there you paint for us, James. All right, well, no Kevlar apart from FNX who was able to save in the previous round. Luminosity need a miracle round here. They really desperately need to find a way to win this one, to be honest. They don't want to let Liquid get to that map point, of course. Simple going to try and get his pick shenanigans going on towards the B apartments, but it won't pan out for him this time. Three Molotovs, that's a plus. Yeah, that get, is true. Get a golden star but, for But that. will they use them, James? That is another question, Dan. That's the, that's the second part. And this is awesome play from Liquid. They showed themselves in middle. They know that Luminosity is really scared right now. So Luminosity still thinks that there might be a lot of people in mid. But look at this, four people going towards that eight side. This is perfect play here from Liquid. Who's going to stop this? There's only... There's, there's, <laughs> there's no one that they're evacuating the bomb site. The bomb site's been evacuated. What's that song you like to sing, Dan? Run for the hills, run for your life. Yeah, bit of Iron Maiden in here. That, I mean, if we're talking about fear, I don't know what's going on here. It's as if they knew they were coming. They could feel the stampede. Yeah, and they have a Famas, they have CZ. I mean, you can kind of spread out still. You don't have to go for full man at five. I mean, and they don't have any grenades to do that. It, it feels as though they maybe even had a misread. That they felt like it was going to be B or something. It's, it's, it's a very strange scenes to be looking at at the moment from uh, the side of uh, Luminosity. This is not the Luminosity who won the hearts of fans no. over the recent weeks and months. This is, this is a ghost. I mean, that, 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 what we saw on the A bomb site there was like Luminosity hit, hit the button for DEFCON 5 and they're like, let's get out of here guys. Straight to the chopper, straight to that B bomb site. And how do you come back from this? Luminosity, they do have, oh, look at this, double off. Double off. Fallen and cold. They need the big guns to come out. Big pressure. 
on the big players of Luminosity, but can they deliver the big result that they need to stay here? Double orbs, no armor on the CT side. Fallen and Cold Zero are in their birthday suits. They are going to need to do something big here. But again, they don't seem to really be changing their strategy. There's one man alone on the B-bomb site. We've got Taco playing short, actually. And uh, let's see, it is Cold holding an angle towards B. But he's going to need to be immaculate with that. He is one of the uh, nastiest fraggers in the game. For the time being, Liquid uh, just waiting for some desperation to come out from Luminosity, waiting for them to make a mistake. We've got Nitro and uh, a teammate in the underpass at the moment, and we've got the pop flashes coming in so that to allow them to take control of Connector, where FNX is trying to uh, make a stand. Nitro down to 2 HP now, and he's going to scurry away. Again, we've got Taco just holding a short angle, so it's still Liquid's round to impose on Luminosity. The team now going back to Old Faithful, and Cold might be in trouble. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on him. He's got to hit these shots. We saw Fallen this, in this spot before, the same spot, with, but with much more utility to work with. Here he comes once again. The first base is a Dren. He's going to hit the ground there. It's Cold. Oh, what? A jumping double from Cold. What is that going on right now? How does he do this? Cold has saved Luminosity with the all play. Unthinkable scenes there on the B apartments. They needed a huge play, but that was something I'm never going to see ever again. Ridiculous stuff. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and it was a no scope as well, right? Yeah. Uh, I have no words to describe. Oh my. Oh. Holy. Okay. Well. Who is they've, this guy? They've closed the gap. The gap is reasonable now. They've been even been able to buy Kevlar, Dan. It's like it's Christmas for Luminosity at the moment. And that might be the boost that they needed, the boost in confidence that they needed. They've put a smoke down in B and put more people towards mid at the moment. So it looks like they're going to try and make an aggressive adjustment now. Simple is looking to eat people alive with this AWP. We'll see who gets the first frag. We've got four people in mid for Liquid now. They're going to have the boost looking over towards short, but Cold Zero is holding a superior angle at the moment. We've got jump peaks coming in, but nobody's going to get connected with. Still recovering from that. In that probably one of the highlights of the year with that kind of a play. That's ridiculous, but all in here. Oh, there's a shot. The quick flick from Connector onto a liege. And now Liquid, they spend a lot of time, a lot of grenades in trying to get some work done in middle, but they have come up short now. It's Luminosity instead that have made that pick. Liquid really needs Simple to de deliver now because some of these peaks are going to be dry. They don't have any utility to work with. And now it's going to be that play towards the A-bomb site. And this is what Luminosity are good at stopping. They've got two players close. Problem is they don't have a control of connector where Nitro is standing. So Fallen could easily get picked off, leaving his remaining players pincered underneath the palace area. He's moving towards connector now. That's a very important rotation. And it seems that Luminosity, Luminosity's read might pay off on this occasion. Cold Zero can quickly get to short. Taco is in a good position as well. And here come the frags from the CT side. Three men down for Liquid, four men down for Liquid. Another round where Luminosity haven't lost a single player. And the money is wrecked for, Lim for Liquid. Luminosity down, but not out. They've been, this, is, this could be a rocky story, getting wrecked in the corner. But now they've got all the money on their side. They've still got double orbs and all the nades and the fuse kits. And perfect decision making there by Cole. He knew that there's no way in hell that they're going to go for that B side this round. So we just. Okay, I, can, I can stand close to the middle, I can hold B from Ventrum, which was what he did, and they had just had a perfect stack towards that A side. Well, Liquid are going back to Old Faithful themselves. They don't have hard, much of anything going on at the moment. Only two players with any armor. Taco's going to get flashed, though, and he's playing close with an AK. If he drops his foot to the other team, then it could get nasty. One man down, two men down. They're getting sprayed down. The Garden Hose is coming out. Only Simple remains. Bomb down as well. Three rounds, Luminosity don't lose a single player. We're going to have four buys until they lose one, if they lose one. Really nice of Cold there, actually. There was, a, there was a lot of trouble right there for Taco, despite getting three kills. His, his uh, recoil got out of control really fast. That, I mean, if those two kills don't come in from Cold, you might see a, a bomb plant there, actually. Yeah, and that would have made a big difference because it's going to be a very weak buy for Liquid. 
only 4k on the player, so they're probably going for 8k armor. And look at this. They have a few smokes and a few flashes, but not enough utility to take middle, which means, yeah, they're just going to go for the straight AP. Well, Fur is not having any of it. Standard aggression coming out from him. He's looking to play close Palace as well, but with three people on the A site, Luminosity should have a good hold here, but Liquid just holding steadfast for the moment. Simple's coming in from the underpass. Perhaps he can try and get somebody by surprise, and that could be the opening that Liquid need to take game one over the line. They still have three match points. Fur is going to win the duel, though. Now, what is the reaction from Liquid? They're still holding still. They have one smoke and one flash, and that's about it. They, they were banking on Simple finding a way to make an individual play to get into Connector. Now they have to, they have to just force the issue. This is not going to be something that they're going to be very happy to do. And you can see why there's no distraction for these CTs. Fallen is just taking pot shots. Hits both Nitro and Hiko are down now, and it's just on Adren. Oh, nice little tap there, but it is small consolation in the face of such a dominant round from the opposition in Luminosity. Luminosity, I cannot believe the way that they're coming back into this match. Uh, and Liquid will be forced on Eco now, which means there's only one round now between them and Luminosity. Liquid won eight of nine rounds in a row on the second half, and they have called for the tactical timeout, so both sides feeling the pressure here. But perhaps this is also just to put a break in the momentum of the Brazilian side and make them uh, cool down a little bit because they are running pretty hot at the moment. Still, the double ops continue here onto Fallen and Cold Zero. They have all the utility in the world on the Liquid side. They have an average of $3,000 per person. They're going to be at max loss bonus following this round, though. But again, the opportunity is starting to run thin for Liquid. And one thing that surprises me there, that maybe, you know, like two players don't go for Galils because everyone had AKs, right? And they, they, they had like four grenades between them, two smokes and two flashes. Get a couple of Galils, you can have more utility. Instead of just going for the Royal Angels against players like Fur, you know, going into that A site, the Fur is ridiculous. Usually you want one guy to, as you said, to go for the Galil or Tech 9 to have a lot of nades so he can go middle, block their vision and kind of tell, say to the CTs, okay, we can be in middle. If you don't buy any nades at all, Luminosity will just know, okay, there's no one in the middle, we can just stack A, which is exactly what happened. All right, so what, how, do, how do you think, uh, how do you, what would you like to see Liquid do? You know, you've seen the, all, you know, the first 28 rounds. Where do you think Liquid can take this over the line? When they have their buy, of course. I, I think they should try to do something more funky now. Maybe go for a fast B split. Maybe try to go for a fast Ventrum control. And this, then maybe rotate back and go for an A split because it seems like they're getting mid control. They're just not utilizing it in the right way. So let's see if they're going to go for the eco now, of course. They will be able to go for a half buy. Usually tend to go for P to 50s, a few nades, and go for a B or A execute. So probably not going to take middle this round. All right, it's time to get back into the match. And crowd, you need to make uh, Valvar in attendance here. So make some noise and tell him why we need a North American major every single year. All right, two rounds for Liquid to take the first game. Otherwise, we are headed into overtime. We've got Deagles, we've got flashbangs on the Liquid side. We know what Simple can do with the Deagle here and oh. then. He is, uh, well, there were some shenanigans attempted in mid, but he's just going to be running around. So Simple's in full FPL mode, it seems. He's going to take the peek and find wow. out that there's an AWP on short. I think they went for that run boost peek that uh, they do so often. It also on, on cash as well. You might see that in the next map, but uh, yeah, Simple is pretty, Pretty ridiculous with that deagle. It looks like a leech will go down initially. And they're having to do this with almost no nades, just one, a uh, couple flashbangs left. Simple's actually got armor with that deagle, and it's not a good story here for Liquid so far. They haven't got any damage done. Luminosity holding onto these positions fairly well. Deagle comes out from Simple, but he's not quite fast enough on the draw. And that's going to be now just Eco and Nitro left to get some frags in here. Get the pressure on Luminosity, but definitely uh, not much in the way of expectations for them here at this point of the round. Yeah, and it's not even about the monetary impact at the moment because Luminosity had two players <laughs> with more than $10,000. Yeah. So here we go. Liquid have one round to take this in normal time. Let your voices be heard, guys.
No AWP on the liquid side, so Simple's shenanigans will be reduced, but he is one of the best AK players in North America as well. Three men coming top mid for Liquid, but what is this from Luminosity? I sent some aggression, Dan. Yeah, I mean, we talked about funky stuff. We might be seeing that from Luminosity here. Liquid are going short as well, so Luminosity might be making the right play if they can hit the shots. There are the aggressive nades, and again, fast control here, and Cold's gonna hit the first shot. Nitro's down. Oh, this is looking quite good for Luminosity, but there's a trade coming in from Elise. Oh, and Simple's down as well. This is looking terrible right now for Liquid. Luminosity, they will bring this all the way back to overtime. It started with the most unbelievable AWP display I have seen this year from Cold. Can Liquid still survive it? Can they still actually bring this to a, to a victory? That is a pretty solid wipeout in the last round of normal time. Luminosity started like they were asleep but they've definitely woken up now. All well, the momentum is with Luminosity right now, it's huge. Yeah, did they even lose more than two people in those last six rounds? I don't think so. It's, it's such a crazy turn, considering we saw so many times Luminosity running, you know, to the other bombsite, just giving up bombsites as if they were just in pure fear of Liquid as they strolled in. And then such a strong, to come into such a strong performance, I have no idea what's going to happen in this overtime. Well, both teams have 60 seconds to figure out what they want to do, what they can, what they can expect from their other side. So it's going to be MR3, 10K, which means three rounds per half. Every player starts with $10,000. We saw uh, Luminosity were afforded two orps in probably the last four or five rounds there. If they choose to do such a thing in this first round and they lose, then they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Perhaps I think we're more likely to expect one AWP and perhaps if they can uh, win the round and have an opportunity to pick one up from Simple, they will do that. And it's so difficult to play versus Luminosity when they're in this mode because they're just changing between being three people mid or two guys aggressive A. So it's really hard for Liquid because if they try to go for the mid play, they might have three people there if they try to go for an, a simple A execute right away. Maybe they, for an FNX, will play aggressive towards the slope. So maybe they should try to gather some intel first towards A, see, okay, is Fur and FNX if they are here, or are they just relying on Fall and playing the ticket booth with AWP? I feel like the adjustment Luminosity made was respect. They respected Luminosity too much, and now they've taken that respect away. And here we find ourselves 15 to 15. An AWP onto Simple, an AWP onto Cold. Luminosity have decided to go double AWP. Fallen, Cold Zero, both left with about 3k in the bank. If this doesn't go well for them, it should be a strong half for Liquid. Absolutely, we'll be kicking things off here and uh, Far actually going straight down to short, so you know, usually we'll be seeing Cold there. But now Cold is actually back in the B apps with the AWP and he's got a fine angle, a very fine angle indeed. And Taco's with him too. So any thoughts on this setup here, Threat? Two guys very deep towards B. Yeah, probably expecting that B push, so might be a good call here for Liquid. Cold Zero is susceptible to being uh, traded with the position he's holding, but he has Taco in for support, so it seems Luminosity have planned for that well. But again, this is another situation where they're playing a long rotation game. Liquid just waiting and waiting and waiting. Again, everybody has all the utility now, and speaking of utility, it's starting to come out, come out towards the A site, but are they committed here? Seems perhaps they are waiting for a reaction. They're going to leave two lurkers, and I don't know, Adren's got the bomb. He's moving away from the A site, and now he seems to be coming back, so I don't know if this is uncertainty or if they're trying to give sound cues if somebody's mid, but here we go. It seems they're going to be committed to the A bomb site here. There are three CTs, again, the two players towards B are in very deep, but the re-smokes are going to perhaps thwart the plans of Liquid. And here comes the second execute. Three men up the T-slope. Fallen's going to get the first frag. Looking from the box, FNX with a two-man. So there are only, there's only one player left. Nitro gets one frag, but he's down to 12 HP. He's got a lot of work to do here. The rotation's coming in as well. Time is off the S&T needs headshots. He's not going to find them. And that was a very odd round by Liquid. They used all their utility and then they just waited. And they didn't try to go for a double fake because they didn't have a single player in B apps. I don't know, maybe they have some weird read from some demo, but because otherwise they have no idea what they tried to do there. 
Adren was like the first man rotating away from A, and he uh, and he had the bomb. So I don't know what the plan was there. Maybe a miscommunication, but. Here we go, the first round goes to Luminosity, and that's an important round again with their investment of double orps. That is a huge win, only losing one player. So now once again, just a slow round, slow mid tick coming in from Liquid. We have, of course, left the bomb by slope. So they have players all over the place. This actually does look like a, a typical setup to try to get the, the uh, A attack going, the triple uh, pronged attack. They could try to secure a man into connector and then rotate back through T-spawn and hit the A bomb site hard. We'll have to see what their success will be and if they'll be able to get any entries along the way. Luminosity are playing pretty close to connector and there's the flash through, but oh, the flash was the team flash and that's going to be the frag onto FNS. Cold, very important kill there coming in from a short as the push is now on the site. Fallen, he has to hit these shots. There's the first one but there's still more players. It's going to be simple, trying to get the bomb plant here, but he's aware that he hasn't got much in the way of cover. The smoke is going to have to do for now. And there is the frag from Cold once again, coming in onto Elige. Simple, and Hiko, dynamic duo, have to get this done. Simple retreating back to Tetris. Hiko, not in a good position there in the corner of the bomb site. Simple, must be on point. Looking for the first shot. There's the flick. He's going to miss this time. And these Luminosity players are getting really close now. Hiko getting the spray in the back of Taco. Still more players coming. He's not got much in the way of bullets left. And there's the frag from Fur. Liquid will lose this round to a defuse. And I think you're completely right, James. It seems like Liquid is just respecting Luminosity way too much right now. And they're just... They're not hitting their shots. Simple had at least three shots that I think he would have hit earlier in this match. Also, Nitro just ran into uh, CTA with no flash from a teammate. He had two, maybe three teammates on the site. No one flashes for him. He just runs into the crosshair and uh, gets absolutely wrecked for it. So now Luminosity, after one of the worst starts I've seen at a major, uh, have a two-round lead. And Liquid might go 0-3 if they don't get their heads back into the game. Funnily enough, look at the economy. They've only got three rifles, and it seems it might be a fast B play again. Limited utility here. They might want to go in as fast as possible. Taco coming in for support with uh, the right-click flash, which could cause huge problems for Liquid, even if Cold goes down here. This is a really sick setup, actually. I mean, they're going to be really distracted by Cold. Cold can fall away, and there's still a player hiding here with a pop flash in hand, so I'm really afraid here. But actually, they're going to go forwards and go aggressive here, sending in the incendiaries. Looks like they're feeling the push coming, although there's no rotation. That nade shouldn't hit anything, I don't think, and... Uh, it feels as if only, you know, obviously we have all the information, but if only they'd waited, then it looks they like they're going to get the push anyway. In come all the players. Taco, oh no, he's going to go down straight away. Team Frag coming in. Cold is in an awful position with this. Op oh no! Misses a no scope, but finally gets it. They didn't know he was there. They still are scrambling on the bomb site. Elise will finally take him down. Two versus two. Make that a one versus two. Hiko, everything on his shoulders. Gets the one on one. That's fallen down. Now the one-on-one -on -one against FNX. Hiko scanning around. He doesn't know where he is just yet. He could be absolutely anywhere. There's the spot. Still plenty of time for Hiko to play with. The clutch master of this team, and it's going to be FNX. Three rounds there in the first half of the overtime for Luminosity. Liquid have a hell of a job getting back into this one. Luminosity just have, they just have the perfect read right now. Look at this. Simple, probably on tilt mode right now and not a good sign there for Liquid. And as I said, Luminosity did just stack the right side sites every single time. They knew that there was no way Liquid was going to go for that A site as they lost the two previous rounds trying to go for an A execute. So Luminosity said, okay, we're just going to have him off, taking a deep peek towards B, Taco playing aggressive there in the window. And yeah, they just, I mean, I was surprised they even got to a 1v1 in the end. Three map points for Luminosity. What a turnaround this is. And you can see that uh, mentally Liquid are not in the greatest of places right now. If ever they needed Dave, the human loudspeaker, they need you now, Dave. You better get up and make some noise for Liquid. It's one minute for these teams to uh, think about what they want to do here. You can see Liquid uh, having a chat, but again, now the onus is on uh, Luminosity. They're going to be on the T side. They're going to be able to dictate the pace. If Liquid try to do something aggressive, it's going to be a risk, which perhaps they can't afford. If they lose one round, that's a game. Luminosity is probably expecting double, a double up setup here from Liquid. So let's see how they will try to punish that. Usually you just want to try to go for an A execute with a wall of smokes. 
So, or either you can actually go mid as long as you just keep smoking everything. But uh, I think I, w I wouldn't be surprised if Luminosity just goes for a simple A execute here because Liquid is going to go for the double sniper. Otherwise, I'm very surprised. It's actually less risky for Liquid to go for a double AWP than it was for Luminosity because Liquid now are in a situation where if they lose one round, then they're done. So, you might as well go all in basically. Yeah, they so, might even buy an, an order sniper. Yeah, I was just going to say, we've seen it be so effective from uh, the ticket booth position. If there's an A hit, it's usually incredibly good. Hey, we saw Get Right with some, I mean, it's a different map, but showing the power of the auto sniper earlier in the tournament. With an ace, actually, I think it was. No negev. <laughs> I'm a bit sad. Well, here we go. Nitro and the Liege going to uh, avoid the helmets as they know that the AKs are coming. No, or onto the Luminosity side. Perhaps looking for a play which requires the whole team to be as dynamic as possible. So we'll see what they have in store. As you can see, the bomb is over towards T-Slope. Three liquid players towards A. Again, you've got Nitro and the Liege playing close to that smoke. Very aggressive indeed, just as you might see from Fur and Co. Seems that it's going to be a straight up split from Luminosity. They have control of mid. At the moment, we've got a Dren. He's going to be looking towards Connector and towards Palace, but he's just about to get smoked off from Connector. There's nobody on short for Liquid at the moment, so uh, Luminosity will move into Connector for free. If 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 Taku actually died there, that was the, the, the push came to slow there. Taku has the bomb. Now, Adren's really key here because right now they're splitting all onto these two players who are pushed close to the slope. Liquid are going to have a lot of trouble here. There's three frags in a row there for Luminosity. What are Liquid going to do? It's just Hiko and Simple on the rotation. There's Simple the first frag. Hiko gets one as well. Two versus three now, and the bomb still needs to be planted. So a lot of time to try to engineer this retake. But Simple is dead, and that leaves everything to Hiko again. He is the man you want in this position, but one versus three. This is for everything. This is for the map right now. Hiko making his way around the smoke. It was found that he will spot Taco, but that's it. Luminosity with a comeback from 15-10. An amazing play from Cole with the AWP all the way back into overtime, into a victory. Ten rounds in a row for Luminosity. 59 to 1915. I have no idea how they managed to pull that off, but really, if they had lost that round, had lost that map, the way things were going, I can't imagine what state they would have been in going into the second one. But now you have to feel that they're going to be absolutely supercharged. They, they feel like they deserve this. They feel like it's their destiny to go and take this final. And what of Liquid? They had so much opportunity, so much opportunity to close it out. And yeah. they just weren't oh, able to do it. Yeah, overall, great play from Liquid. They just lack the experience, I guess, to just close this match out. Because from time to time, they had excellent strat calling ST. They made really good decision making, punishing Taco when they knew they didn't have any utility on that B side. But after Cold Sierra got that, th yeah, the most ridiculous round, maybe ever. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's, consi that's considering the, considering where it happened. Yeah, at the major in yeah. a humongous match, jumping, penetration, two man orb. And the thing is, is that please, if, is there a god? If, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if he doesn't get that, they likely lose around, and that's it, boom. But of course, you know, this is not one and uh, not one and done. Liquid are still in this, of course. That was just map number one. But it is time for a quick break. See you back here in a few minutes. They know me as the headshot machine. They know me from the highlights they see. They know me from the matches they watch. They talk about my one taps. And they think for me, aiming is so easy. I just go into a match and that's it. But my aim, it comes from more than just the game. For me, aim, it is about precision. This part, people don't see. This part, it does not show up in highlights. When I sit down to play, everything already is a part of me. EG motherfuckers.
We are back, folks. A crazy map won here at our last semifinals. Liquid taking on Luminosity. And you know, it was rolling. The crowd was rolling. Liquid was rolling. But Luminosity said, you know what? That's enough of this. So they literally shut this arena down. And yep. 10 straight rounds, as Threat said, uh, straight into overtime. No questions in overtime. A dominating end of that game by Luminosity, no doubt. Yeah, I thought you turned into Fred Durst for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Constant rolling. Uh, but look, here's the thing. This is what happens, okay? Like, there is no getting away. Team Liquid, brilliant. They played out of their skin. This is an amazing performance. This is Luminosity's map. Don't forget that, right? They're, and they're incredible on this map. So for Team Liquid to get to match point and have rounds to play with, incredible performance. Five match points. This, right, but this is the difference between teams that can win championships, yeah, yeah. teams that know how to grind out series. This is why Luminosity has only lost to Na'Vi and Fnatic in series. And Team Liquid, unfortunately, it was there for them. It was there for them. They have to forget about that because they choked. They lost 10 rounds in a row, right? And in regulation, they only got three kills before it went to OT. They just went missing. They just couldn't get over the finish line. Now, that's about Luminosity being very, very good, okay? But it's also about Team Liquid choking, for real. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'd call it a choke, but uh, definitely Luminosity there took pleasure in the fact that they just taught Liquid the lesson they just learned in Katowice against Fnatic a yeah. few weeks ago. Having that kind of a lead, letting it slip away to a more experienced, a stronger team all around, um, that, was a, that was a really nice comeback. And, and you could see the beginning of this game, Liquid does what we uh, in, in the Americas, we like to call it scrimming. They were a little bit, you know, a little bit out there, <laughs> you know, a little bit not, not very organized. And they, they know going up against Luminosity, if you're going to try and play that strategic game as, as Liquid, by the way, like as you mentioned, you know, as you know, an inexperienced in-game leader, you're going to lose that battle. You're going to lose it, especially on a map like Mirage, uh, so strong for Luminosity. So they went in and they had a different game plan and they made Luminosity play that way right up until Cold with that one round ruins everything, just stops them cool. Yeah, we're going to show that too because that, yeah. that was absolutely amazing. And before that, the B site seemed to be liquids all, quite a bit, right? And then yeah. just crazy stuff. Well, I mean, obviously, I was really impressed with liquids' performance on this map, especially in the first half after being down 7 1 or 7 2. They managed to, to come back and win seven rounds. Yes. This is. Whatever. No. Let's just play it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but, but I think it was pretty obvious the flaws they have also on this map. Like they did a great job early on in the second half, utilizing the fact that since Luminosity Force bot, they didn't have a lot of grenades. They, you know, used their numbers, pushed towards the site as a unit, got the trade kills, and were winning rounds. And Luminosity was kind of shooting themselves in the foot there, constantly force buying time and time again because Fallen would save an AWP, they would save uh, an extra rifle, and then you know, other three players would buy an SMG and, and pistols, and they couldn't defend with, with just that, right? So as soon as they got that, that double AWP setup, they got all of their grenades and everything, that's when they started rolling, and that's when Liquid hit a brick wall. They didn't have a counter to that, basically, and it's simply because they don't play the map uh, as often. Yeah, and one of those brick walls you mentioned earlier was Fallen. Let's take a peek at his round 20, I believe. I mean, actually, Fallen early on in this game, um, all of Luminosity really seemed to, like, no, not, not, even, not even a joke, they seemed to be thrown off entirely by this crowd, yeah. by the noise. Fallen was missing some very easy shots that we see him hit time and time again. Now, this round was incredible because once he's missing these shots, all he does is stay alive. Yeah. I mean, this is such a beast play from Fallen. So intelligent in a difficult spot. Just, I mean, not over peaking, not committing anything, smoking himself off and hiding and waiting for the rotates to come in. And Liquid never got aggressive. This is one of the rare rounds before that comeback started that Liquid just never got aggressive towards Fallen to clear him out of that position. Yeah, and this is one of the things that's truly great about Fallen. You know, I've said this a lot. It's not just his ability with the op to land these shots, it's his consistency. Because you can see there, he's whipping all over the place. It's his movement and his intelligence to use the terrain. He's bobbing, he's weaving, he's like Neo in the Matrix. He manages to what, stay alive on the side. He's got no right to be doing that. And then he starts making the kills and he starts landing the shots. And I agree with Moses. I think Team Liquid probably should have gone a bit more aggressive. As soon as that smoke was down, though, Fallen knew how to use it to his advantage. And that's true experience showing that. Yeah. Uh, and it's just experience shown from the whole team, just that, that kind of a comeback. Uh, Liquid's going to have to learn, learn that. I mean, this is how it happens, right? The hard way. Yeah, and... Um, just some uh, overall highlights of the match. Yeah, and it, it, look, it, it, it's really brutal. Here's the thing. 
Team Liquid and, and Luminosity do have uh, th this history. I, I think it was at uh, RGN, I think it was, where they had that contentious series as well, the team, where there was some uh, back and forth there and yeah. a power outage on one of the PCs that yeah, a little yeah. photographer lent over and it led to some bad there's blood a couple, there. There's a couple subtle yeah, yeah, subplots and then, yeah, here. And, and then, of course, you know, we've, obviously all, everything we've talked about was simple. So this is Team Liquid are really fired up for this, but this is just heartbreak, absolute heartbreak. Uh, to claw your way back into this one, to get into a lead, to even think, like, I'm just going to style on you, yeah, it just negifies and all sorts of nonsense like that. Like, you know, to, to, to be able to have that level of confidence and get yourself into a lead and then to lose in that manner with 10 straight rounds, that's that that breaks the back here. And you've got to go into a second map, your pick, and you, I don't know, man, it's just, it's heartbreaking. It's, it's heartbreaking if you're a Team Liquid fan. It's heartbreaking if you're on that Team Liquid team right now. That was their map to lose. It's yeah, well, here, here's the key thing that Liquid needs to go out and talk about, or hopefully had talked about, because they're already getting back on stage, as you can hear the cheers, but um, we always knew Mirage not very likely. Now, that was an incredible performance. They yeah. almost stole it. It's really a bummer that they didn't. But if they focus on the fact that they gave that up, that they choked at the end, they're going to lose this next map as well. So hopefully they went out there and they were like, guys, this is a map that's it's one of Luminosity's best. They're, they're world beaters on this map. And we just took them to the limit. We got them into overtime. We know we can match up with them. We know we can we can battle strong. So I'll just focus on those positives. Alige, welcome to the big stage. That was a sick map from him. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, definitely. Definitely, and I think we exist in a, a, a crazy alternate timeline as well, because I think we might have to start accepting that GB James is a good coach. <laughs> hey, and, I mean, and I never thought I'd say that on a broadcast. Jesus. So he, he's, he's doing wonders. It's truly a nightmare. I know, it's like it's, it's <laughs> some what dystopian future. It's like, like Patterson Richard, Richard too, <laughs> isn't it? Like, Biff's yeah. the president. I've never seen Richard just flip like that. It's yeah, incredible. It's crazy. Yeah. Sellout mode, and tell you. So, yeah, as you mentioned, that was Luminosity's pick. Now, again, very squeaky but then dominant performance like you said almost stole by liquid let's talk about cash now uh, other than them having to mentally reset that they maybe gave that one away what's liquid got to do and what does luminosity have to do in that sense on liquid's choice yeah well uh, i mean we saw them have this great performance and great comeback against clg we know they can play this map we know they've got tips and tricks and you know all these little running boosts and everything like that and, and that was all, again, all based around simple. Unfortunately here, the, the worry is, simple is the player that you, you need to be on point. He's the talisman here, okay? And all of their tactics on cash were based around putting him in these positions where he can use the AWP, make these peaks, make these picks. But now he's just gone missing in, in, in 10 rounds where he really needed to step up and drag his team over the finish line. And we know he's got problems with his temperament. So where do we go from here? If your entire strategy is based around one player going ham, and he's having a, a crisis of confidence, I don't know, doesn't bode well. I think they're relying on him to go crazy on Mirage, on Cash, a little bit more comfortable on this map, obviously. It's been a favor for them for a while. The one player who's got to step up, and it's not even simple, it's Nitro, who's been quiet yeah. for a lot of this tournament, quiet first map, but this is one that he's had success on. This is like his, this is the map he's known for. You know, most of his most of his top tier performances against the best teams in the world happen on Cash. So he's the player who's got to come alive here for me. And also Luminosity picked uh, to start as T on this map. So maybe th that's also a chance for Liquid to get, a, get off to a good start on the CT side. I feel that when it comes to the second half, uh, when Liquid goes to the T side, it's going to be a, you know, a problem for them that uh, Luminosity is really good at using the double AWP setup that we just saw on Mirage with Call Zero and Fallen. They can do this, the exact same thing on uh, Cash with uh, Fallen towards B and Call Zero towards A. I think that a good thing on the other hand is that unlike Cobblestone or Overpass, it's much easier to improvise on a map like Cash. They can do similar things they did on, on Mirage in general. I actually think the most important player on this map for Liquid is uh, Hiko because even when you look at how they play around their T sides, when they go for that uh, A smoke strat or, or whatever, he's the last player going in. And he had some amazing clutches in his career from those yeah. situations, even 1v3s and so on. He had that crazy 1v5, even tech nine rounds. Yeah. So is, he also seems to be really comfortable playing from, from that position. All right, thank you very much, gentlemen. Any last thoughts? Well, just we that luminosity are mortal on this map. So if, if Team Liquid can, can focus just a little bit and, and sort of forget about what just happened, then maybe they're in with a chance. But I just I look at what's happening with luminosity now, and their the blood is up. You know, they're in that huddle, and when they get into that zone, it's, it's, it's scary. So, total order of Team Liquid coming in.
All right, thank you very much, gentlemen. So it is do or die time for Team Liquid. Luminosity is one map away from meeting Na'Vi in the Grand Finals here at the MLG Major Championship. Come back after the break, let's see who wins it. Almost winning the uh, map choice of Luminosity, but now we are on to catch. This is the map that Liquid shows. This is a map where we've often seen uh, some really interesting things from Liquid, quite a forward-thinking team on catch, especially where North America is concerned. So they know they came close, but they know it was uh, Luminosity who were favored to win that last round. We did see some good performances from Liquid as well. Hopefully they can bring that into their pick. Yeah, this map actually favors Liquid as this is probably Luminosity's worst map. They don't play Dust 2 at all. And of the six maps they actually play, Cash is the map they play the least. So if Liquid wants to win a map, it's going to be Cash. But the biggest problem is the next map is Cobblestone. Right, right. Yeah, Cobblestone is going to be very interesting. But, but let's talk about Cobblestone, you know, if, if we get that. Um, <laughs> then we can hold off on that one for a while. And uh, I mean, we're going to be kick kicking this, off, this one off very, very soon. All right, Columbus, make some noise! Map two here in the semi-finals, Liquid versus Luminosity. Luminosity are going to be starting on the uh, T side. And again, this is, uh, I think, well, I don't know if the T side is stronger than the CT, CT side on this map. Again, it is not their strongest map by any means. So we have Liquid who've opted for two diffuse kits again. And they're going to stack four people over towards B site, so it looks like they're going to have another hard read on Luminosity, but it's not going to pay off on this occasion. This is actually, this is the Bardolf strat then. Because I, I mentioned before to Fallen that people play retake from car and you can't hear squeaky door open, which means you can rush the site and they have no idea what's going on. Bombs being planted straight away. They've obviously adjusted this since Olof Meister flanked them a few weeks ago. So you've got Cold Zero in the uh, vents area and he's going to flank the CTs who are all rotating into mid and car. But let's see if they have those set retake smokes because there's a lot of teams that started to do that where they can uh, throw the smoke straight on the bomb. So the T's have to run out from their post plant positions to try to stop a de quick defuse with those kits in the smoke. But look at Kolb, this lurk is absolutely unreal now. Now, the pressure's on from behind. Adrenaline's going to try to get some taps in there as now Liquid storm the bomb site. It's simple. Hiko, Nitro starting to go forward with winning ways, starting to get that defuse underway. Cold, he gets a couple kills, three kills, but what does it matter? Defuse goes away in Liquid. The Stars and Stripes get off on the right foot. It's a good play by Luminosity. Liquid are actually a team who very, very, very commonly go for an A retake pistol run. They've done that for, for months, maybe even over a year. So nice read by Luminosity, but didn't pay off. Liquid off to a good start. Yeah, the biggest problem from Luminosity there was they, they knew they were going to go for the retake, but they didn't try to push car because they know that Liquid will have those two smokes and they're going to go for that power diffuse. And they did, and it worked because they only had two guys on that side. Yeah, they kept they kept one guy just standing in default. Uh, I wondered like that that's not a good post plant position. So they've tweaked it. Seems it could be tweaked some more. The luminosity guys have not gone for the force by here. A bit of an eco, just some pistol deagle onto cold. He's got triple UMP, double MP7 on the liquid side. Yeah, that tells me that they were very afraid that luminosity would actually force up completely in this round. They wanted to make sure they had the utility to deal with it. Because usually you know you would see a lot of famas or maybe even some M4s in a spot like this because. 
you're expecting the AKs in the following round. So it seems like uh, Liquid are playing this really safe by making sure that they have max utility in this round, even though now, as we can see, the AKs are going to come out next round. So it could be quite hard in the next couple of rounds for Liquid, even if they end up winning them. Again, we're, we're in a situation where the squeaky push can come in and they won't hear them, but Cold Zero has been seen. Cold Zero has been taken down. Got fallen by the forklift, but again, no armor. So these players should get cut to ribbons by the CT side. We're slowly going to come in. Slow and uh, careful it will be. They've got loads of HEs for this as well. Nice shot by Nitro there. More people to find. Nitro has gone down, but again, this should be far in Liquid's favor. FNX last man standing. He's in the door. The door is literally going to be closed. Simple's playing close, actually. He was susceptible to being... Uh, he could have been one shot there, so he's lucky to get away with that. Very risky play, and unless he, if he died there, it would have been completely unnecessary. But all in all, an awesome round there from Liquid going for that A retake. I really like the teams when teams do that versus that low buy or force buy because it's really hard to defend versus tech nice on the site. But it's really easy to actually retake the site because it's almost impossible to hold it with pistols. So just a very simple round there for Liquid and it's completely fine to give them the plant. Yeah, and we'll see a lot of grenades now because of Luminosity really bolstering that economy with two plants in the first two rounds. Now finally getting the big buyout fallen on the AWP, but here goes Nitro. There's the pop flash. Can he beat Taco? Yes, he will. Fast advantage here for Liquid. And Luminosity, despite having some presence in A main, the four players of Liquid towards that A bomb site makes it quite strongly fortified. Although now as time goes on, we'll start to see Adren moving towards the CT connector. Perhaps Liquid, you know, trying to th figure out what's going on, trying to get some information plays onto the map because they don't know what Luminosity is doing just now. Just Have a yet. look at the timing. FNX did run all the way through mid and has run all the way back. And Nitro had a strong position in the door, but Liquid are completely rotating out of the A bomb site. Are they comfortable playing the retake position again? It seems they are, as they have control everywhere else. Luminosity is slowly creeping, ever edging forward. FNX on the AWP, as he's only got 11 HP. Let's see if they can make it onto the site. Fallen has the bomb in main, which means he needs to cross. Look at moving back now. We've got the nades coming in from the teams, but not committing just yet. You can see still, Simple still on a UMP here. Still two UMPs on the, the Liquid side. If they were to win this round, that would be a huge deal economically. We've got the, uh, the Assault coming into the site, but Luminosity can't quite make their way in, and now Liquid have their full attention here. Every single player is on this A bomb site. Cold Zero able to take down Simple by the forklift, looking for the second frag. The spray is good, but Hiko's going to drop him. Now down to Fallen as he's defending alone with that bomb ticking away. Looking for the first frag, but Hiko with the strafe. Silencing Fallen with the pistol. And Liquid will win this round after keeping the UMPs in this, so their economy is going to be in a pretty good spot, to be honest. Very dynamic play there from Liquid. They started off having an A stack, and then they fell back, took mid control again, and then they just went for the A retake. So just changing the play during the round, and it's a really, really good approach to the C side of cash. Adren straight on the AWP. So it seems they are looking for uh, a less volatile CT AWP as the primary op on the CT side, and then they will just launch Simple from the cannon on the T side to do as Simple does. Luminosity going for a bit of a buy here. It's a half buy, they're leaving two to three K in the bank, but they have got many sets of Kevlar and a few nades as well. Moving over towards the B bomb site, it seems we might have a bit of a fake coming in towards A, but there's a two-man push, so Liquid node, it's not gonna be a full stack here. That said, they are rotating over there, so there's only Hiko on the B bomb site on his own, and here comes the push, surely, from the T's with the timing. There's still quite a few smokes here as well for Luminosity, so they can really cut off Hiko from any help. Hiko's going to be alone here. There's the first snap, gets the headshot on Fallen, and there's the third as well. All three players from Luminosity investing themselves and taking that bomb side away from Hiko, but he had other ideas. Taco, last man standing. Not much really to do in this position, and Liquid with a clean fourth round. This is a fantastic start from the Liquid side. Look at their economy right now. They can almost buy three consecutive rounds. And they can lose two rounds in a row almost. Let's see what Luminosity tries to do. Usually when teams get down like this on the T side, they try to go for that mid aggression, just try to go for the fast mid take. So maybe they will go for the fast boost. Let's have a look. Hold. Uh 
Luminosity's style on Cash, despite it not being their strongest map, has definitely changed over recent months. Cold is uh, a guy who is more than capable of going for solo takes of mid with uh, two flashes and a smoke, but I haven't seen that from, from him this entire tournament yet. We've got Fallen boosted up, looking towards Connector, where Adren is standing. Gone for the safe smoke towards mid, and uh, he's choosing to jump where his arc will avoid him being shot by Fallen. Oh, attacker's going to get dinked through the door. So that's not going to be very helpful for him. He's setting up, I think, to put a fast smoke onto Quad. Let's see what the intention is, because the bomb's nowhere near A at the moment, so it may be to try and pull a rotation from the Liquid side. And indeed, Adren has moved towards A to support his team. So there'll be three plays over there. Fallen still on the boost looking around in mid, and he's setting up a smoke for the uh, connector area. Taco's actually found his way out. This they're sneaking straight through the smoke. Very sneaky stuff indeed from Taco. I don't know that he spotted Elish on the boost. This is actually a massive play potential for Elish here. He can save the round for Liquid. There's the first frag. No silencer there. Announcing himself. Can't quite finish off Taco. Great response coming in from Quad. Although Taco's down to 3 HP. Giving uh, Liquid a chance is Elish in retaking this. There's the incendiary. He's going to actually whiff that one. In goes Simple. Up the ladder, Fallen taking down a Dren. This is looking very hard right now for Liquid to get in here. Fallen though, whiffing a shot. There's the second though. And now again, as we've seen so many times before, it's down to Hiko, but against four, is it really possible? We do have a few players quite tagged up here from Luminosity, so Hiko definitely not going down without a fight. Oh wow, there's the first pass frag. Hiko gets a double. There's still two players left. They got no health on them. 13 and three. Hiko creeping around the site. Now there's still time. To oh my goodness, how does he do this? How does Hiko do it again? The clean sheet remains for Liquid. Luminosity yet to find a round. Hiko is the clutch god of Counter-Strike, surely. Yeah, I have no words for that clutch. That was just perfect play there, getting those two first kills there on forklift and then... When Simple gets out of his chair to grab your hand, you know you've done something good. Seriously, you thought Colts 1 versus 4 was good? Well, Hiko, I, he I think that's a pretty good contender. Dan, we're into round 6. Hiko is 11 for 0 right now. He is smurfing Dan. This is so sick. Luminosity moving towards the A site. They uh, have another buy coming in. That nade's not going to help for down to 63 HP. Nitro is the lone soldier towards A at the moment, and it could be a fast play from Luminosity. First made his way over towards Forklift. Nitro not going to go for the uh, counter flash. Elysia's just gone down. Nitro taking for blind. Trades coming in. Three versus three. The CT's going for the retake, but the flank's coming in. Simple goes down. Man advantage now. That's going to make things really awkward for the CTs. Hiko, could he be clutching it again? Adren's on the car with the AWP. Down to two versus two. We've got a crossfire for the site that's fallen. Can cover one side for his teammate Taco, who will have to look towards CT. Adren now moving up with his teammate. They've got a smoke down to avoid the main angle. Let's have a look. We've got Fallen. He's been smoked off in main as well, so this is really hard for Taco, but that bomb is ticking. Both players have defused kits. Hiko looking for the last player. Can his team cover him while he goes for this defuse? Adren, there's a meat shot coming in, but a two-man spray down the garden hose. And Liquid have been weeded out. They are in a very good position, though, to force Luminosity into a lot of Ecos. Fallen... No, Fallen died as well, I think, so... Look at the utility on Luminosity right now. What can they do this round? And I just want to highlight as well, like, how, you know, how Liquid looked at the end of the last map, you know, losing around 10 rounds in a row, so completely deflated. I mean, this liquid coming into the, the, the first half here on map two is completely different. This is so great to see them back, really back into this in spirit. And we're going to have a quick play into mid coming in from Luminosity. Simple's close. Have they spotted him? They are spraying through the smoke a little bit, but Simple could be in for some frags here. His teammates keep distracting him, and indeed, the distraction's good. Simple taking down FNX, but the trades are violent here. Wow. Cold getting three. It's two players left here for Liquid now, though, as they try to figure out what Luminosity's game plan is. There's still so much time left in the round. But those are really crucial frags, because look where the bomb is. It's under the boost in mid. Nitro's position is really important, but he doesn't know how important he is. it is. Looking over towards A, that could have been a disaster for Luminosity. Hiko's moving towards mid as well, and again, the bomb is still stuck on Taco under 
of the boots. He needs to cross, and if he could comes out at the right time, then he could win the round for his team. Not going to be the case, though, but the bomb has been spotted. Nitro knows what's up now. We've got a two versus one, but again, it needs to cross. He knows what the bomb is, but he doesn't know where the second player is. Taco still needs to cross. This is a very tight situation here. Nitro looking towards short. Taco not willing to peek here. The smoke goes down, and he's going to try and force Taco's hand. Shoulder peeking, but... Oh, looks away at the wrong time. Can he get a two-man spray down? No, he can't. Another round for Luminosity, an expensive round for both teams. And that was so smart by Nitro as well. Smoking off Fallen. I don't know how he was so sure that it was actually there. Luminosity did the smart thing. They knew if they just waited, Nitro had to worry about even more angles. So, but for some reason, Nitro just knew that Fallen was going to be in that position. He smoked him off, got the kill on Taco, but yeah, very, very close aim battle there versus Fallen in them. This is so crazy how back and forth this one has been. He clutches all over the place. Two rounds now for Luminosity as they finally forced Liquid to an eco. And we will get a quick pop there from FNX in middle as Luminosity expand. But you know, what kind of anti eco are we seeing here? <laughs> Looks like it's uh, pretty solid so far. Getting the picks across the map. Likely to see Luminosity start to bring themselves together as a unit soon to get a definitive push onto a bomb site. So good anti eco so far. Nitro is going to look to try and get a good jump, but Taco gets his AK back out in time. Elige with a one versus one duel. So uh, Luminosity very comfortable at the moment. Again, Hiko's the last man standing. And this is the famous position where we've seen so many fast headshots in, in default. There's no choice almost but to have a close quarters engagement here, unless you have the Molotovs. But it's not going to work out this time. It is an eco from Liquid, so they're not going to be too concerned. Looking at the five rounds Liquid have won, four of them have been by Diffuse, which is a bit crazy. So, Liquid back on the buy. We'll see how much utility they have. It's going to be a bit limited on some plays. Hiko just with a Molotov and a smoke grenade. Simple with nothing but a f uh, M4 and armor. So, let's see if Liquid will try perhaps to go for an aggressive push through A main or something like that. Try and get more map control due to their limited utility. They've got three people headed over towards the A site at the moment. One towards B and one passively towards mid. You can see Luminosity having a bit of a conga line going towards the squeaky door, so it seems they may want to shut Liquid out of this round quickly. And if you have three players towards that A site, you need to be aggressive, and it seems like they're very passive at the moment. On. Wow, what a defense there. The setup was on point. Hiko and Alij, the one two punch. Three players dead for Luminosity. Two players trying to make this work now. But the bomb is on the, on the site. How can they reclaim it? Adrenaline Hiko is still standing large and in charge on that A site. And Luminosity are shut down after a little bit of momentum their way and still a little bit of money left to get another buy in. But, uh, you know, Liquid stand to break them here. But that said, Liquid's money is not very good either. So this is a very pivotal moment in, this, uh, early, in the early days of Cash It. And the trend continues in this match where the teams just stack sites without any information. And they seem to stack the right sites very often. So great play there from Liquid, even though usually you want to be aggressive on that A site if you play, put three people there. Here we go, it's going to be a fast mid-take, Cold coming in. Oh, there are many Liquid players here though. This is going to be a war of attrition, one man down for each side. Cold pushing through, he's going to take down Adren, and the numbers in blue are falling all the way down to none other than the man with a plan who can, Hiko. But is this going to be a bit insurmountable for him? It's a one versus three, Cold is towards the vent, which means that Hiko could get flanked very quickly here with the remaining two Luminosity players over towards the site. And there we go, NBA in the house! But he's got two more to find, 40 seconds on the clock. He's got more than enough time to do it, but he doesn't have a kit. The money was limited, so he's gonna have to find these frags quickly. Luminosity having two players, both in main. And Hiko has so many places to check that he might not have enough time to do it. The bomb's completely exposed as well, trying to fake his worthless here because he's two against one. This might be one task too far. Taco getting a, getting a bit of a spray down, but the time has passed too much already. Oh, Molotov as well. Damage will be done, but the round will go the way of Luminosity. The gap closes to two. And that's so harsh for Liquid. They had the perfect counter to what Luminosity threw at them. Luminosity went for the fast mid tech. Liquid had three members in mid. And Luminosity still wins the trades. 
So it's uh, going to be a pretty tough time now as they have to go for the eco, but at least you know, Hiko was able to pick up an AK at the end of the round, so he can really keep the pressure up on Luminosity. And I mean, their money's not very good. It's, it's going to go very far. You know, a lot, it's a lot of value for Liquid to, to actually pick up a few kills here. And uh, let's actually see. Yeah. Did they go? Okay, they didn't go for the full force. Flying to within 2k on each player. And it's a fast mid take coming in from Liquid, just getting two players close there. And Simple's actually going to go through, dropped immediately by. None other than Fallen, in-game leader of Luminosity. Now uh, Luminosity just playing it passive, waiting for Liquid to make more aggressive moves. But uh, Liquid now falling back a little bit and not giving any easy frags to Luminosity. Hiko and Adren are the only two players with armor in this round, so uh, I can expect Hiko to try and rotate that AK as much as possible. You can see Cold is just lurking outside the B bomb site now. And in a previous round, we saw uh, from Fallen's position, the Molotov come into the vent where Elegis is standing, and normally that's something Virtus Pro would do, and they'd have Snack standing outside B to punish uh, Elegis, for example, for exiting the vent. We're not seeing that from Luminosity at the moment, and they've tried to use that to suggest a fake towards B in previous rounds, and if they had a Lurker there, then perhaps that would make that a little bit stronger, but here we go. Still, uh, there's a Molotov on the T side, but it's going to be the close quarters engagement. It's going to pay off on this occasion. But again, Liquid have three, they're all their remaining players over towards the bomb site, including Hiko with that AK-47. Now, Luminosity have 35 seconds left on the clock. They, didn't really have, they don't really have anybody over towards A, which means that they're probably going to move in towards the stack. How much damage can Hiko do here? He's on half HP at the moment. And here we go, they're starting to move in, but they're moving in in numbers, so the T's should be able to trade, worst case scenario. Down goes Nitro, Hiko's going to take one. Can he take a second one? No, he can't. It's just Adren now versus three. He will soon be dispatched of, and Luminosity close the gap to one. That was a really crazy situation. I mean, they kind of, Luminosity didn't leave themselves with any time to properly understand where, where the play was going to be for, for Liquid. It's actually super smart for Liquid after showing all the players in mid to then say, okay, let's just try and just go and stack, stack a site now. Yes, yeah, very risky play there though, because if Luminosity have, if they have one Molotov, they can just flush them off from the site. And let's see if Luminosity, is, if they will go for the fast mid play here again. Five mollies on the T side on this occasion, which is a lot better. It's a good improvement. We'll see if they can survive this round without taking too much damage. All things going well, then we should be tied up here. So we are looking at likely six rounds on the T side here for Luminosity. Not too shabby, considering it's not their best map. We've got a push coming into A main from the CTs. Three CTs coming in. Bit of wallbanging going on. But I think Luminosity might have seen something here. Fur is having a quick look. Elige has closed the gap. Got a teammate running distraction. That's simple. Elige will hold the angle. Bit of a blind spot, but he will survive. Or Fur simple gets taken down as well. Good start to, for Luminosity. Yeah, a few you know, creative bait plays there coming out from Team Liquid. Just trying to get a lot done with very little. It's very difficult. But actually, that said, Nitro and Adren somehow picking up a couple kills. Three players for Luminosity, though, with, all with rifles, and there's a few grenades left as well for them to work on a bomb site. And they're going to go into this A site. Looks like we are just left with the Dren for Liquid, and now he will go down as well. So 6-6 six, six, Luminosity tying things up here in the first half. Although, you know, how do you feel about you know, how Liquid are doing on the rounds at the moment? I think they have a, the right idea. I think they should try to do the three-man mid-take again. Last time they did that, Luminosity went for the fast mid-take. Liquid should win that round, so they should just keep trying to take mid control and just go for the A retake if Luminosity decides to go A. You can even go for the boost and flank them if they go A. We have a change, and that change is that Simple is orping. It could be based on spawn. He is headed over towards the B bomb site. He does have support there, so not playing solo like you might see from other orpers. Smoked off his initial angle, he will change it up. But the Molotov will force him away from that as well. Very nice play from Luminosity, a thorough team indeed. The bomb is actually in the hands of Fawn. He's run towards the door. He's trying to pick from door towards the uh, toxic barrels and short or highway. And if, they, if he's actually spotted here, they're going to see where the bomb is. And there's already pretty much four players for Liquid by this A bomb site. And Fallen's going to go down. Simple will win the AWP battle. Oh, the tag through the door as well. This is looking quite good. Surely not. Simple staring into A main. And he saw the grenades. He knows what's up. Right now, and this is going to be an interesting spot for Luminosity because, uh, hey, they still have some time, but do they keep committing towards this A bomb site? 
they don't have any map control anywhere else, so they will feel compelled to go for the push here. There's still a minute on the clock. Simple's got the high ground here. This is an angle that Peter also likes to uh, take because if people are going for the pre-fire angles, then they're not going to take you. They're not going to expect you to be there. But he's flashed off the angle. Elise will stop the push from the door. And there are many T's running through smoke now. There's smoke all over the place. Who's going to win this? It's going to be a lot of variance here. We need some flashes through these smokes as well. Elise goes down, but it's simple, still simple alive. And we've got a player on uh, quad for the CTs. Taco is left. 20 seconds on the clock. There is a player forklift, so Taco may be dispatched off soon. So many angles to find. I don't think we're going to see a bomb plant in this round. We're not even going to see any more frags from Luminosity. Liquid take the lead once more, surviving with four players as well. And I don't know if Liquid has watched a demo of Luminosity and they know that they just tend to go towards that A site every single round because once again Liquid left only one guy on the B site all alone, having three guys on that A site with Simple with that up. So they, yeah, they just have a good read on Luminosity right now. And it's quite cool to see Simple hitting some shots again as well. Definitely going to give him some, conf him some confidence running forwards with the AWP. And we know how key he is for the Liquid side with that AWP. And once again, Luminosity is starting to file in towards A main. Nitro with a quick spot there. He's gonna and he's going to fall back with an HE. Back to Forklift. He's got the support there, as we can see with a leash on the bomb site. Luminosity with a couple of Tech 9s looking to get a fast pace here into the A bomb site, it would seem. Can Liquid hold this one? Fur with a fast headshot onto Nitro. They might be in some trouble. Adren, though, able to trade onto Fur, but he's going to go down. Things looking quite strained right now for Liquid, but Elise coming back in, holding down the door position, providing that threat of a, f a flank through the door. And there's Simple now with the nades as well, tossing them in. Taco going to try to stop the f a flank from coming through that door. Oh, Simple, what is this? What is on earth is he trying to do there? Leaving it all to Elise and Hiko. Nico able to take down one frag. Time ticking away on that bomb. Players in the smoke. This is absolute chaos right now. Hiko taking down one that's just fallen. Who remains? He is actually going to go down to him. The Tech Nine's out at the moment. Hiko gets it though! What a key round for Hiko to clutch once again. Three kills for him. And what a back and forth round there. I like the move there from Simple going, uh, tapping that bomb. I think. He didn't want to go for the actual full defuse. He just wanted to force the Lum Luminosity players out of position. And uh, yeah, great clutch there in the end there by Hiko, having only 10 HP, I think. So many people pushed through smoke in that round. That could have gone either way. That was absolutely absurd, but here we go. Two, like two round lead for Liquid. Double orps for Liquid as well. So we have Adren, who is over towards mid and simple who is looking over towards B apps, and there we go. FNX is going to be the first one to go, but Simple's going to have a lot of uh, people coming his way here. Oh, no! Fallen smoke. Uh, nade has been denied there. That is a problem with throwing nades from that position. You need someone to hold an angle. The push is going to come in anyway. We've got counter flashes coming in. Simple needs to find more frags here. To, uh, Hiko's coming in for support, and this push from Luminosity is failing on all fronts. Nine to six, the half will end. Liquid with a three-round lead. Hiko what a, homies are real, Dad. What a, what a crazy read there again from Liquid. Actually having Simple in that position in the event room. And I mean, of course, he's going to hit that shot as well. That is some really sick stuff. I mean, it seems as though Liquid have always been a step ahead on understanding what kind of setups to use. They've been looking fantastic there. And a 9-6 scroll line going into the T side. It's very, very decent scoreline, especially considering Cash has been a very T-sided map recently. I think we've seen a lot of 12-3 scorelines. I, I don't remember which game it was, but I remember the game where the T's were up 12-3 and they still lost the game. The problem that happened there was, um, I think if you saw the previous round where Simple was in B apps, he, uh, sorry, when he was in checkers, um, Luminosity threw a Molotov to stop him from peeking after they smoked the initial angle. I think they tried to do the same thing there and messed up the Molotov. So Fallen thought he was safe, but the Molotov was in the wrong place, which allowed Simple to get the frag there. That was the problem. Because I thought it would be, it would be unusual for Luminosity to allow someone to, to punish them like that. But yeah, obviously the Molotov was the issue. Yeah, because it's a very easy pick to get from the left side there of checkers with AWP. And a very standard play, as you said, just smoking up the first opening, Molotoving, checkers, they can push towards the headshot box. 
and then you can either go into checkers or you can fall back. The thing is, the Sages don't know, so that's why it's very popular to do that. Would be surprised if you see a similar play here from Liquid. Can I, can I just say that Hiko is 24 for 5. Nice. After one half. After one half, he's 24 for 5. If he would continue this trend into 15 or 30 rounds, he would have almost 50. That is unreal. He's got seven M MVP starts. This guy's got all the starts. Well, this is the pick of Liquid. And uh, here they are on the T side. Luminosity with six rounds. If Liquid win this pistol, they will be in very good stead. Where's the home crowd? I can't hear you. Do you want three match, people? All right, let's see if Liquid have the tools to do the job. We've got four Kevlars on the T side. Hiko is going to be the uh, nade man. Luminosity going for five Kevlars, which is a stark difference to the double diffuse kit we see from Liquid. And this is a pretty classic. We'll see the boost there. On, but oh, this is also a good counterplay. We'll see both Cold and FNX pushing the door, and they're going to find the back of this mid push before it can actually happen. Putting the pressure on, picking up a frag onto Hiko, who had all the grenades as well. Nitro will actually pick one of those nades up, but this pressure here from Luminosity is really great, and they're actually getting the frags as well. And you can see Liquid trying to pile in to deny them, and they will get the trade frags back, but Luminosity have blown up the initial plan. That was Liquid's pistol round, and they're going to have to adapt on the fly. They wanted to charge the site, but Simple had to go back and pick up the bomb. He's done so, but they're a bit funneled through the squeaky door. That smoke will definitely help, but the bomb site's still in the control of the CTs. We've got two coming in. Down goes one. Can Taco get the frag here? Running out of bullets. He is not going to do it, so it's down to Fallen. No kits anywhere on this map for the CT side. He's got to find three, but look at the HP of the Liquid players. This is entirely doable, and that's a great start for Fallen. Elise, Simple, both on less than 50 HP. We saw it with Hiko in the 1v4. Can we see it in the 1v3 on the pistol from Fallen? He's got a crossfire coming in for the T side. Elise getting tagged. How many bullets? Five bullets left for Fallen, but Simple's going to shoot him straight in the face. Pistol round goes to Liquid. Very scary there when they both give up their positions. One they could have just played that way more passively, but thanks to Simple getting that instant headshot, they still won the round. I do like the door push coming from Luminosity there. I mean, that's a really fast way to, to basically get some info. And there's so many teams who go for that, that mid boost to build into an A split or even into a B split. It seems to be often, you know, the start of, of how people build their pistol rounds on the T side. But either way, we do have double ump from Liquids. We've got an AK and a and a couple of SMGs, MAC-10 and MP7. Let's see how they use them to go for their anti-force buy. Because Luminosity, they've loaded up on the D, because we've got the full force Boots. buy from them. And of course, with a Deagle, it just takes that one bullet to send a round into turmoil. We have to see if Luminosity can be good for that. Nice nade there over to the white box from the boost position by Liquid. And it's going to be very scary here for Liquid before they uh, start getting rid of some of these Deagles. I see very tentative stuff here. As Liquid play it passively, make sure they're safe against any aggression. But now it's time to move. Now it is time they have to take a bomb site. as well, so probably going to Molotov, MBK, Quad, and Forklift. Adren and Fallen both rotated away from B at the same time. Here we go, the nades start to fly in, the smokes, everything. The CTs are basically playing a retake on the site. They're around the Forklift and the Highway. Cold has come in with two Deagle shots. He's going to go down, as is FNX Adren with a two-man spray down here. Hiko holding the high, and that is where he will find Taco. Down goes for two plays remaining, and now it's Fallen playing where Hiko was with the PT-50. But he's the last man standing for his team. Spotted and finished off. Liquid lost a lot of players there, but they won the round, and that's what matters at the end of the day. Yeah, great play from Adrian getting two kills, getting them back into that round, because the first mistake they made there was that he didn't Molotov forklift. Cold Sarah got two free kills from that position, and... You can just simply deny that position with throwing one simple Molotov. Americans love barbecues, Dan, but, uh, but they don't seem to like Molotovs that much. Well, well, it seems to be the case so far. Not that they go hand in hand. I wouldn't recommend Molotovs at barbecues, they just but like, they should be recommended in counter thrive. They just like explosions, James. They want the HEs. <laughs> Who doesn't love explosions? Monster trucks. Big bada boom. There we go. So Luminosity have a CZ, and that's about it for this round. Liquid have everything they want. So this should be this round should be a formality for the T's and Liquid will be double the score of Luminosity unless something goes horribly wrong. But don't see that happening at the moment. You see Simple moving into checkers now, just clearing things one by one. But 
He should have some support before he starts venturing into the site. And he will be a patient boy for the time being. That Molotov, he will start to move around. But again, that is an AK. Adren's coming into support now, so they'll have a bit of a crossfire. And everything will get cleaned up. Street sweepers. DJ K Slay style. FNX standing in the smoke, but really, what can he get done here? If he's lucky, maybe he gets a little, little knife, but... Simple with a good spray through the smoke. And now the second half can really begin. And a big issue for Luminosity is they went for that full force by the second round, which means that they... Yeah, look at this. Only two smokes. How are they planning on re-smoking middle? And are they even planning on, re on smoking A main? The this going to be bad. The crazy thing is that we see so many HEs. I'm, I'm cold and FNX they have HE each, but, but they, that could have been a smoke, for example, which has a, much, a lot more use for CTs to cut off angles and to delay the Ts. So we'll have to see if they, if they can somehow pull out the frags. We're going to have an aggressive push coming in because of the lack of utility from Luminosity. They know that it's A straight away, but there's three players who just aren't in position. That means that Taco and Fallen are going to have to defend alone. And if Taco's dead, Fallen's there with the AWP against five players. And he can't get anything done. Elise with a snap straight to his face. In comes Cole. He's shut out just as quickly. This is, this is just a save now, but they were trying to go for the retake. FNX is pushed really far up. He can get punished, and that weapon can be removed by the T's by Liquid if they want to go and hunt him down, but it looks like they are just taking it easy at the moment. And uh, Liege will be the closest man to challenge further forward. That silencer with the off angle towards the truck by T-Spawn is going to win the frag. So it looks like Luminosity should be able to save, at the very least, one rifle. Looks like two this uh, at the moment. The Mitro will claim the AWP. A fall in which uh, I'm sure we'll find the hands of Simple. A great play once again there for Liquid, punishing Luminosity for their lack of utility. They just r ran out towards that A site and there were no counter flashers, no Molotovs, because Luminosity simply couldn't afford it. The third map, should we make it there, will be Cobblestone. But for now we need Liquid to uh, finish things off here if we are to make it all the way to the end. So indeed, Simple will be the man with AWP. And interestingly, look at Simple spawn. He has a very forward spawn, which means if he chooses to run towards mid and Luminosity try to cross to, to a highway, then he can get a frag before they can make it there. And it looks like he is going for it, but it's just fallen who's going to be in Zed Connector and he's going to be instantly smoked off. So Simple has a good spawn, but nothing to do with it. But there's a three-man push from Luminosity towards B storage again this time. They're going to find Liquid, but they can't get the kills. Cold only gets one on the spray. It's all about Liquid right now, but Fallen, he's got the scout in position. It's going to be tough for him, but he's got one kill already. The smoke is going to slow down Liquid somewhat, but they are gaining ground slowly but surely into the site. Simple is going to send Fallen sliding down that ramp. And what can Fur do? This is such a hard position to be in. Fur, only a smoke as far as grenades go. Any flashback, there's still Molotovs, there's still flashbangs. Here comes Simple, just running out there to meet Fur. Risky business there. Now it's just down to two players. Maybe now it can become doable here for Fur, but there is, of course, fire. There's Nitro and Adren to stop him. 14 to 6, Liquid 2 away now from closing out map 2 and forcing it to the third. Yeah, and Fur had to go for that, even though it was almost impossible for him to win that 1v2. Look at this, Liquid is up 14 to 6. Five Famasas on Luminosity. Five Famasas on the CT side. They are trying everything at the moment, but nothing is working whatsoever. So it seems we may get to back to normalcy here for the CT side, whatever that is at the moment. Two players over towards B for Luminosity. Nobody engaging them. Adren playing super passive, just uh, waiting for Luminosity to make a move. Wow, Molotov onto Sandbags then. Haven't seen one of those for a while. Yeah, and actually, I'm surprised Simple didn't get uh, tagged there by the Famous in Vent. Perhaps not wanting to give the position away. Have to see if Simple can find something in the middle. It looks like he might be potentially giving up soon. We'll have to see. Oh, there you go! Simple finds a shot straight to the Dome of Fur. That is painful. And Simple now is going to advance Liquid's presence in middle. There are three players currently for Luminosity by the forklift area, by Highway. 
They are going for the A main take. That's very smart. If they felt like it was going to be an A split, taking away A main at this period would actually give them information or potentially help them to to kill the push. They need to act on it fast though because Gravity is bringing Liquid all the way down to the B bomb site, and there is only one man there. The captain, the in-game leader for Luminosity is isolated. And he is dead, Dan. There is nobody left here on the, on the uh, B bomb site. FNX is coming in from upper, but he's going to get shot down by Simple. So now Luminosity is streaming towards the B bomb site one by one. I think we're about to head to game points. It's looking like it. There's not much that can be done by the remainder of Luminosity in this round. Instead, they just turn tail, run, and hope to potentially to save these weapons. And Taco is trying to cover his his retreat here. And there it is. Good job by Taco picking up the kill against Nitro there. Cold actually might get one as well. There's Hiko down. It's going to be an upgrade for the AK. I'll talk to the AK. And the Drenner is going to find his way up CT spawn. I don't think Taco is interesting and interested in taking a battle. They definitely need to keep these uh, weapons alive because the money on Liquid is pretty atrocious. Of course, they have the uh, full round loss bonus due to Luminosity, so they can get a decent enough buy going into this next round. But Liquid are so close now. Map points. And once again, Liquid, Liquid punishes Luminosity for the lack of weaponry. They just, like, how would you defend mid with a Farmers versus Simple Salt? I don't, <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically impossible. It's that simple. Luminosity uh. looking like... Well done, Threat. <laughs> Very well done. Good Luminosity parts. looking like a fox in headlights at the moment. They haven't won a single round on their CT side. Their money has been wrecked. All the way wrecked, fully wrecked, maximum wrecked. Game point for Liquid. Simple's lost half his HP to some flames. Other than that, they should still be looking good for the round. Fur trying to play close quarters with the uh, MP9, but Cash perhaps not the best map for it. The Flames as well. Team Liquid playing Luminosity style with all these Molotovs. First man's down, that's fallen. Fur's gonna even things up. He can't get to the AK though. Gonna get traded by Adren. Simple goes down, three versus three. It's FNX on the B bomb site now. He's in the headshot position. He's got two more to fight. His teammates are rotating to him. The bomb is stuck in Checkers now. Not much Liquid can do. It seems they are committed to the site. They're spread on opposite sides of Checkers, which means they can't boost out of the vent where Taco is waiting for them in mid. Everything slows down. Yeah, this was actually a great hold by FNX. That one frag just providing just enough delay to stop them from making progress onto the site. And now it's going to be really hard. Of course, Luminosity, they don't want to, to really push. Now, Taco's position is fine. They just want to make sure that if, if Team Liquid are going to double back, that they know about it. They don't want to take the engagement. They've got them boxed in at the moment. They're forcing Liquid to make the move where they have a disadvantaged engagement. Oh, that's a good smoke here. Oh, but the spray for the smoke is very strong, but somehow Adren wins the battle against FNX. Surely not. Here comes Cold and Taco, but Liquid have the site now. we have got plenty of time to go for the plant, but these players will be stuck on the site. Eco now going for the plant. That's Cold and Taco. Gonna make their way in. Nice Molotov forcing Hiko out there. Oh, he can't back away. He's burning and Cold will take the frag. Now it's all on the Dren. The standard for this tournament. Getting tagged down to three. Taco with the wall bang. And that's gonna be the round there for Luminosity. But the plant did go down for Liquid. And three players were eliminated by Liquid. So Luminosity are gonna have a hard time on the cash as well. Three Liquid plays have around 10k. So they are coming straight back at Luminosity with more guns, more bullets, and more nades. There's going to be no respite for the Brazilians. And uh, Cold Sierra's being very smart there with the defuse, giving Taco time to pick up that AWP in middle. Shout out to the people at the very top of the arena today. We're going to come and hang out with you guys tomorrow. You are not forgotten. AWP straight on to Simple. Elise yet to buy, picking up an AK. So we've got an AWP on both sides. Luminosity are in a lot of trouble. Again, they still have limited money. Got that standard smoke coming into A main for the CT side. And Liquid will have somewhat of a slow start, no fast aggression. There is an ag speaking of aggression, we've got three people mid, fur underneath the boost. Sorry, two people mid fallen towards the checkers, playing B on his own. He smoked off his usual angles as well. But uh, did see that Molotov going towards the second AWP position, but he's going to hold there for a while. And Liquid are going to start moving away. 
Apparently Ric Flair's in the building. All right, so just another passive opening from Liquid. This is actually a really smart thing to do in a moment like this, because Luminosity could be trying to disrupt Liquid early in the round with some aggression or some information plays. They have shown that they like to, to go for those. So Liquid just keeping themselves safe, and if Luminosity were to make an error even in going aggressive, Liquid are going to be there to punish them. But a lot of time has passed now. You see some map control from Liquid, and they are going for that delayed mid-take. It's slow. It is just simple, actually. He's got a teammate to help him out here with the Molotovs. And look at that. That's a beautiful way to open things up. Good use of the Molotovs to vent and also to under boost to allow Liquid to have control of middle. And now they're setting up the push into A. So they have the split possibility as well. So far, Liquid have built a very, very good round here, but can they close it against Luminosity? Taco completely blind in the uh, NBK position. Cold is starting things off well. Taco's coming alive now, and there's two men down for Liquid. Seems it might not be over just yet, but here come the frags again, down to Adren. He is in mid, but he's got 12 seconds left on the clock to find two players, getting smoked off on highway as well. So it's going to come down to damage for Adren, but the counter flash is coming in as well. He will get finished off, so Luminosity are not out of this yet. And you have to wonder, if Luminosity keep creeping up the scoreboard slowly, will we have butterflies in the stomachs of Liquid? That was a sick hole from Taco, by the way. Just getting a quad kill, I mean, honestly, Liquid had a really sick uh, take of the map and then into the side. That was such a good round from them, but Taco, big, big individual performance to keep his team in it. Yeah, and I think Lim or so Liquid needs to take a timeout right now. They will go for this round right away, but after this round, their, their bank will be broken. They have lost two rounds in a row. Simple's going to be boosting two plays up, so we, perhaps we will see a mid-take where there is currently only one CT. That's FNX on the Sugar Cube, the white box, or whatever other name you might have for it. Two people over towards B on this occasion, so Luminosity trying to keep things fresh on their side. Liquid not committing to a mid-take yet. And Luminosity actually took B storage now as well. So they've got some forward information. They don't have the forward position just yet. But that information is kind of key. And it's actually a little bit worrying if Falling cannot get to Toxic. But it looks like he's going to be able to do so. And that is very key right there. there because that will allow Luminosity to stack more towards A and middle. And beautiful frag there. He's actually going to decide with the advantage he's just gained for his team for Luminosity to fall back into, into the B bomb site. This is good play from Luminosity. Liquid starting to take mid now. The bomb is in mid as well. So it looks like they're going to react to that frag by going to take B. There's a bit of a clip onto Nitro. Fallen moving to a passive position. He is there alone. And the rotation, again, is very, very long for his teammates. But he's doing great work. Still not smoked off for the time being. And they're, they are running out of uh, players to push this site. Our oh, Liquid, three versus five now. Looking good for Luminosity. Simple though, getting off to a good start. And Fallen might peak now. Is he going to get punished as well? Oh, the timing. The smoke will do the job. Bomb gets picked up and we should see the plant coming in soon. 30 seconds to get that done. It is a uh, four versus three here for Liquid, so they're definitely at a man of disadvantage. Nitro is quite low as well. They've got some decent post plant positions, but Luminosity have two incendiaries and a flashbang. That utility is going to be very strong in going for the push here. If they just coordinate this perfectly and they are all setting up positions right now, they can attack from four places at once. Luminosity should be pretty good here. It's going to take a strong individual performance from Liquid. And you got Simple there by the vent. Looking for the jump shots potentially. This is audacious stuff there from Simple. And he will pay for it. Now it's going to be Luminosity storming the bomb site. It is a clean sweep on the retake. Very well handled. Very calm and patient from Luminosity. And that discipline pays off. And it's so cool to see that Fallen is alive in that retake. Even though he was a dedicated B player. If you want to learn how to play B, Cash alone with off. Just look at how Fallen played that. He just played it perfectly. Going aggressive Toxic, getting that enter kill, covering uh, vents when he knew that they had checkers. He just fell back towards C to spawn, threw a Molotov, just bought more time, and then they just went for the retake together. Just perfect play by Fallen. No timeouts coming in just yet for the Liquid side. So they're going to buy to around $2,000. They have four smokes, four flashbangs. Simple's the only man with uh, full armor and a deagle. So it looks like we're going to have a fast A execute. They've got Simple in A main itself. Double Nave's coming in, but he is at the further end, so he's only going to take 25 HP of damage. So we'll see what Liquid has to offer. I mean, we've seen some crazy action on the A site. People running through smokes, flanking flanks, and all kinds of craziness. So we'll see if Liquid can get something done in the Bedlam. And this is going to be an interesting one to hold. We saw, uh, oh my god. Is it happening? We see, we've all seen the highlight clips from this position from Simple. He's got one already. He's been tagged down to 39. 
I was going to say that uh, we saw how Liquid handled this round by going for retake, but hey, we've got the push coming in right now from Liquid. All the nades, there's Taco. The first couple frags coming in. Good defense with the double on the AK. There's FNX to hold down the back as well. Taco will finally be eliminated, and the smoke might provide enough time for a bomb plant, but it's going to be hard to see Liquid holding on to this. Simple is lurking with that Deagle. He no might just get a quick frag, but he misses the key shot. And now Adren, one versus three, with the AK double face in from Luminosity. Not much for Adren to do there, and the defuse will come in. Luminosity, is, are they doing it again? It was a nice try by Liquid going for the A execute there, where, with Simple already being in the right corner of A main. But uh, you have to question the, the, their decision of going for a half buy when they have 50 rounds, because there's, they're obviously not going to break the bank of Luminosity. Because if they win one round, they win the game. So, a strange decision there by Liquid. The big guns are literally coming out for Luminosity. We have Taco on the auto sniper. The Ric Flair, the dirtiest player in the game. He's moving over towards the A site. Let's see the setup of Luminosity, because they have two orcs in tow as well. Firepower is the name of the game in this round for the Brazilian side. Simple's going to be on the AWP as well. But uh, the Liquid side may be in for a nasty surprise if they go in Taco's direction. Yeah, Taco by that quad position on the A bomb site. So if there is to be an A push, I mean, we've seen what he can do with the rifle. I, I, I might be a bit afraid to see what could happen with an auto sniper after Get Right's performance in this tournament with that thing. Now, again, passive opening from Liquid. Hard to go wrong with that. And they have been building very well and very methodically in in a disciplined way into these mid takes. We're going to see that again with the grenades. The wall of smoke set up into middle. There is, of course, Fur, who's in the event area, and he gets the first kill onto a liege. And he can fall back now. Job done. And smoke off the vent. FNX going across the railing there. Very aggressive stuff. He's punished by Nitro. Liquid going man for man at the moment as they've taken middle. But it's a lot of presence here. And actually, we get a push in B storage coming in from Fur. He's going to work out exactly what's going on at the moment. Luminosity know that it's going to be an A play and they're starting to rotate preemptively. Big play from Fur and now Taco's in there with that auto sniper. Two frags. He's going to get the last one as well. Luminosity climbing all the way back, showing that they have a championship spirit. Never down, never out. Yeah, and I like the idea by Liquid there, taking the mid control, throw, throwing the wall of smokes because they knew that Luminosity had a lot of snipers. They got that mid control, the problem was they didn't expect the auto sniper there on A. Another big mistake was they tried to molot off the vent and it failed, which allowed the player to stay in the vent and take down the first player into mid. But again, they, they throw the molot off towards uh, B, but don't have anybody outside to punish a player for exiting the vents. So let's see, these uh, well chosen timing pushes from B are paying off well for the Luminosity side. Liege will scurry away from uh, that warning shot. Again, we've got Hiko moving towards Squeaky, and it seems Liquid are just going to play close quarters with an Execute towards A, which would be a good counter to multiple sniper rifles. Taco and Foran will be with the snipers, so they have one less AWP than they had in the previous round. And they seem quite committed. Adren is playing uh, a late flanking role. He's going to be moving towards A main, so it seems Liquid are just going hell for leather here. They're going to go all in. They've got four rounds to try and take the last one. Ooh, Taco. Might look to take somebody's kneecaps off, and that would be a tragedy indeed. Oh, so close. And there we go. Great start. Preemptive firing from Taco. Take Hiko down. Down goes Nitro as well. Just firing all day. Bullets for days. Cold Zero coming in on the forklift. And this is a complete failure so far for Liquid. Down goes the bomb. No frags for the T side. And Taco will finish them off. Have they used their timeout yet? I don't think they have. No. I don't think I've no. seen it. The crazy thing as well is that timeout comes in. The amount of damage Taco did before there was even a push was just a little over 100. Because he, he tagged, uh, I, I, I can't remember who, I think it was Aliji he tagged first down to 50. And then he gets Hiko through the wall and the door in, into, into the, the squeaky door room. So you can really see how, like, the utility of an auto sniper in that area where so many wall bangs are possible. Because also, let's not forget, you know, shooting into the metal shutter if they're setting up a take. Um, onto, on towards the A side. So there's so many ways to use that weapon on the A bomb side. It truly is scary in the hands of a great player such as Taco. And 
can see that uh, he's very, very comfortable in that position. And Liquid now needs to really bear down and figure out how they're going to get that one last round. On Mirage, Luminosity won 10 rounds in a row. Right now, they have won the last six rounds in a row. You have to wonder what that does to Liquid's. Are they starting to doubt themselves? They are at game points. We all want this to go to three maps. Currently, they have about three and a half thousand dollars in the hole. So this should be an eco round from the T side. Perhaps uh, Tech Nine also bought here or there. But should they not prove successful on this eco, then Luminosity will be two, a mere two rounds behind Liquid. Looking at the CT economy as well, Fur's on 12k, Fallen's on six and a half, Taco's on 6k, so even if they lose a round, well, if they lose a round, they're out, but if they, if they, um, you know, if they take a lot of damage but win the round, then they can still buy up, so they should have maximum defense available to them. Yeah, and I think Liquid, is, they're just discussing either how they're going to deal with the Auto Sniper on A, or if they're actually going to just ignore the auto sniper and try to go mid or B. Because it's so hard to deal with that auto sniper. Because even if you smoke the site, you will just spam the smoke. And it's really difficult to get past without getting tagged. It's and you lose three. You yeah, have no idea. Yeah, yeah exactly. And you lose 60 HP. So a lot of really tough decisions ahead here for Liquid. Well, it's, uh, of course, it's going to start with a bit of a quasi buy from them. We are going to get the Tech Nines going with some nades. We will see uh, two Molotovs, three Smokes, and a handful of Flashbangs. Only Simple with any Kevlar. And it uh, looks like they're going to go towards the territory of Fallen. But look at the setup they have with Fur. Uh, he was holding a Pop Flash for Fallen, which he can still do. He's moving towards the site, actually. But again, put more Pop Flashes can be held. So, somehow misses a shot, and it is a safety in numbers game here for Liquid. Oh, Fallen. He spotted a face, and there's nobody holding the angle this time. So, if Adren dares to go back there, then Liquid could be in trouble. It's a great incendiary from Fallen, actually forcing some players to actually try to peek him, and he will take the frag onto Adren. So, Fallen single handedly putting a lot of pressure on this push into the B site, and he can will finally eliminate Fallen. But has Fallen bought his team enough time? We got further on the bomb site, and a fast rotation from Luminosity, but will it be quick enough at the moment as the players from Liquid are on the bomb site? Lilish is there. But wins the crucial one versus one, and the round will be shut down by a luminosity. And that's 13 so, rounds now. That's so smart by Fallen. He was actually looking above the white box in Toxic because he, there's a really tricky smoke you can throw from there. And I think that was Liquid's plan. They were going to throw that smoke from on top of the box. But Fallen knew he could actually see his head from that position. And, uh, just through that Molotov, knew they had to rotate, going the right side and getting the first pick. Excellent play there by Fallen. Okay, you guys need to raise your voices. Liquid are back on the bye again. They are at game points. They failed seven rounds in a row. They don't want to fail again. So the AWP has rotated on the CT side. We're seeing a bit of a run boost, and it's succeeded over towards A, so that could be a nasty surprise in the dying rounds of game two. There's a mid-take coming in from Liquid, so Luminosity are changing things up quite a lot, and they've got a three-man setup towards the A site despite having somebody boosted up. Nitro and Simple currently in mid, bomb still in T warehouse, Adren is lurking over towards the bomb site, and Fur has an aggressive position there as well. So if Nitro can cover Simple's back, he can try and look for an opening towards the A site. Very unlucky not to get a connection there. He might even see FNX in the boost position if he's lucky, but Cold Zero has other ideas. Yeah, that was the play there. Getting Simple into a spot where he can take the picks onto A and use his insane individual skill, but this time he didn't deliver. He's got four teammates now to fall back on. This is an incredibly important round. This position from Fur is devastating. First frag found, but it's a good coordination here from Liquid. They'll get the two entries that they need. That's the B bomb site. Truly open. Liquid with a good chance to take this round. It's going to be the retake here from Luminosity, but there's no grenades on Liquid. They cannot deny Luminosity visibility in towards the bomb site, And so they have to take the fight. Cold will win the first one. Oh, it's all on Hiko again. Two low players here for Luminosity as the bomb site will be stormed. There's no nades left here for Luminosity. Hiko, oh, he's going to get taken down by FNX. Luminosity will take round 14. And that was a great attempt by Liquid. 
I think the crucial point of that round was Cold Zero getting that jumping kill <laughs> towards the guy in Toxic. That was completely absurd. Liquid have enough in the bank for a reasonable buy here. We should see a number of AKs coming out. It's this last chance saloon for Liquid to take this map in normal time. If you want to see three maps, you need to make some noise now for your team, people. Where's the USA chant? That's what I'm talking about. Mid has been left alone again by the Luminosity side. They put a smoke down towards T Warehouse, and that's going to be that for the time being. Three towards A again for Luminosity. They've pretty much got the same setup as they had last time, minus the uh, the boost over towards A. We've got Fur playing aggressive once again. Last time he had an AK, this time he's got an M4. That's not a bad nade. Simple avoiding the flashes, though. Yeah, that, these forward positions, whenever Fur is playing aggressively, it's always very scary, but as we can see, he's given up that forward position. And uh, Simple's waiting for the right moment here to take himself some peeks in towards the checkers area. Perhaps he's waiting for a Molotov into the vent from his teammates who are towards the middle area in the T warehouse. As you can force, if there was a player in the vent, they can force him out for Simple, but he's going to get the pick onto the in-game leader, Fallen. And now Fur has to defend alone. He's used all of his bullets almost. He'll get one frag, but Elise is good for the trade. Now, once again, Liquid can storm the bomb site. FNX is trying to buy some time. Simple, trying to line up the shot, can't quite find the angle. FNX just slightly too far towards the bomb site. And now things slow down. 30 seconds left in the round as Luminosity have rotated a little bit. And Liquid will go for a rotation of their own. The A bomb site is empty at the moment. Will Liquid be able to beat Luminosity to the punch on that bomb site? It's just Cold who will have to defend this. There's 15 seconds left to get the bomb down. Cold could stop the round alone. It's all on Hiku and Cold. Hiko taking a lot of damage there, so is Cold, down to 31. Oh, the flash from a teammate, so good, but Simple gets the trade. Taco with a headshot and Simple, five seconds left to plant the bomb. Adrian will get a frag, but there's no time to plant the bomb. He's in CT spawn, Dan, and we are gonna go to overtime. So close, and yet so far was FNX all the way in CT spawn. The time runs out, and Liquid do not close again. 15 match points for Liquid in total in these two maps. When you put it like that, Brett, it sounds very bad. <laughs> but we'll have to see if they can muster some strength here. We saw it from them closing out that first map, going into the next map. The start of Cash was a beautiful resurgence from Liquid. They need to bring that, that resurgence back into this overtime. And it's kind of like Luminosity. When they get those Auto snipers that double up setup. They just get into the state where they were just unstoppable. However, Liquid, they were really close a few times towards that B site. Yeah. Just imagine that round where when FNX was running towards the headshot position on B. If Simple would have just walked slightly out to the right and just killed them, they would have just taken B and won the round. So they have had a lot of su success towards the B site, but it's just barely not enough. Yeah, and the, the, the buy round before that one as well is a similar situation. And you had two 1v1s for Liquid, and one of them looked very, very favorable, favorable in B storage. But somehow, just losing those one-on-ones, and that, that's just really unlucky, to be honest. Liquid seem to have lost control of the map. This is their map, as we said. This is uh, arguably Luminosity's worst map. Problem is, they are one of the best teams in the world. So how bad is your worst map? We are finding out as we speak. Luminosity doing a good job of adjusting and again it doesn't even seem like Liquid are dictating the pace at the moment and they're on the T side and that's not how things should work. They've got 10 seconds before we move into round 31 on the second map. And they must realize that Luminosity is just giving them a middle. They can try to do something more funky. Maybe they should try to push CT connector. Maybe right. they should try like leave one guy in CD connector, go for the B split, the guy in CD connector can just deny the rotations because it seems like the only time they're utilizing mid is either simple going on a mission towards A or they're just running on to a B split. And so Luminosity always seem to be in control of, of the information of what's going on in that sense and we will be kicking things off here. It is the start of the first overtime between Team Liquid and Luminosity. 
Okay, so we're going to see some really weird stuff here from Liam Nossi. They have completely abandoned the B bomb site, putting three A and two mid, and they have lost mid, and they never had B to begin with. But how quickly can Liquid capitalize on this? The B split is on, the, B, the bomb's moving there, and Liam Nossi have taken a massive gamble. They put the house on red down, but always bet on black. Tanaka will at least pick up a frag for his team. Bringing it back to even Stevens, three versus three and four, and actually might have a very good peak here. Almost getting the double. Fallen taking down Nitro, and that's going to slow Liquid down a little bit. It's going to be quite tough from here on out, but Simple's going to be able to get the plant here at the back, and it's going to be at Luminosity with two players approaching from CT, and one is Fur creeping around the smoke into Venza. Dren's going to get caught off guard. All on Simple. This will be a time for a highlight reel. Gets blinded though, and this is so difficult. Three players rushing you when you're blind. And that's the round there for Luminosity, but Liquid it looks really good at the start. You seem to be speechless. Yeah, that was... Beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Such a weird round by Luminosity. Two guys going aggressive mid. It looked like they were gonna go for the boost, and three guys towards A. No one on B. Maybe they, they knew that Liquid were play, playing very slowly, so... Okay, if we just gain ground towards A, we can go to, to B later, because they've never gone for a fast B push. And they've gone for the big gun straight away. The auto-sniper has come back out onto Taco, who, who heads towards the A bomb site. The smoke starts to go down. I think we're going to see a fast uh, push into mid here from the T's. Indeed, we have two players up. And again, it's been abandoned by Luminosity. But what are Liquid going to do? I mean, they have options available to them. They can go for an attempted fast B split. They can get them a lot of intervents. They, they've got a Lurker, actually, who's very deep towards B. That's a Dren. He is using the smokes to take checkers for his team. So the B split should be on. He's deep into checkers. It should be a simple B split for the team, but they're not committing to it just yet. They've got Nitro and Elige deep towards Highway. And uh, Hiko trying to get some information. So they're playing with the clock. They've got a minute 15. They don't need to commit to anything too quickly. They will want to try and get an idea as to where Luminosity are putting their numbers of nobody mid. Uh, and they actually have a boost yeah. on the B side right now. So if Aiden just pushes here, I think he can get two people from the side. This is going to be really interesting, this boost. Uh, it's a nice position with Fallen. My goodness, it's very risky though. There comes the first man, Elige goes down, Adren will get the trade, Fallen, what a shot there, Hiko, out of this round, Fallen, so much pressure, trade comes in from Simple, Cole trying to get quickly into that bomb site, catch some players out of position, he's got a teammate with him as well, the auto sniper of Taco is going to be popping heads, Simple is going to feel the wrath of Taco. Three versus two here in favor of Luminosity. Plant will go down. No nades for Luminosity to throw onto the bomb site where both players are here. And Dren looking for the fast frag onto CT. There's the first snap. Taco gets the trade. And it's Nitro there on the bomb site. Now is cold looking for the angle. Nitro's got to be so on point in this situation. Oh, he's not going to get it though. It's going to be cold with the M4. And Luminosity again stealing another round away from the clutches of Liquid. And they must realize now that Luminosity is playing on the B site. If they just save two Molotovs when they get into checkers, they can just flush Fallen out over the site. Yeah, there is a Molotov which stops you basically peeking anywhere if you're standing on the site towards the T entrance to B. And the other one is for hiding around those wallbangable boxes. Can Liquid adjust in time? If they go zero for three on Luminosity CT side, then I don't even know what to say. Double orbs coming out on the T side, so they're, they're putting Simple into the game. He's going to boost up two of his teammates. We have Fallen with a nice peek into CT, but he's not going to find any information yet. Maybe uh, taking this from the NIP shenanigans we saw earlier on in this tournament. Yeah, this is a really Ooh. sick boost, and he'll get a tag onto Hiko. Liquid are lucky they didn't, didn't lose a man to that boost, to be honest, and now... We've got Taco with that auto sniper popping Nitro's head from afar. Here comes a trade from Adren though. Liquid getting a lot of damage onto these Luminosity players, and Adren's gonna come out huge there with a double. Three versus three now as they try to take this A bomb site. But Fur is there to get the trade. Just trades for days here. But finally, Adren makes the difference. Three kills in this round now. All down to the father of Brazilian Counter Strike. It's fallen from the car position. He will. Take another angle there through connector from short. Seeing if we'll get a fast frag, and it's going to be hard to do, but Fallen's the man. It's going to switch out for the AK 47. 
Two flashbangs to play with as well. He has no idea where these two players are playing the post plant from. As he just scans the bomb site. Liquid playing the time here. Very, very smart way to approach this round. Simple with a really sick angle there through the door. You would never expect him to be there. And there it is! Shot from behind. And finally, Liquid put around on the board. That's got to feel good. Yeah, their first round in how many rounds is it now? Too many rounds. Too many <laughs> rounds. Yeah, yeah, let's not go there. They're going to be on the seat to side. And now Team Liquid finally will be able to put up that double up setup. They had a nice setup at the end there with Simple in the squeaky door. Adren didn't need to peek there because Simple had his crosshair on the bomb and things were finished off. That was a much needed round for Liquid. I think the pressure might have been too great if they went into the second half with zero rounds on the board. They still have the deficit. They need to hold on their CT side. Lumin as the further each map goes on, Luminosity seems to just grow in power, yep. like some kind of anime final boss or something. I don't know. 33 frags on the board for Cold Zero. Simple, not too far behind with 29. The thing is uh, with Hiko, actually Hiko, he, if you recall, he, fin he finished the first half with 24. He went 24 and 5. In the in regular time on the T half, in the second half, he only got two frags. So Hiko, I think he's trying to enable his team very much. Whereas, of course, you know, coming in for the retakes of CT, that's something he's so incredibly sick at. We saw some very nice clutches from him in that position. But, uh, you know, that's also, you know, on this team, you can imagine Hiko's going to be trying to enable the likes of Alij on the T side. He wants to get simple in those positions to get the picks as opposed to, you know, playing a dominant role himself. So it's not too surprising, but definitely he needs, uh, he needs to step it up here if his team wants to take it over the line. Mirage was won 19 to 15 by Luminosity. They are currently up 17 to 16. The clock is soon to disappear. Liquid are around down. It's crazy that we're getting such a similar situation to the first map. It's almost like a complete repeat. We're just hoping to see a difference from Liquid, that they'll finally make the adaptations that they need in mindset and in approach to the rounds. And will Adrian buy that second op? No, he's actually going for the M4, so single op set up here. Well, Liquid are still being tested here. They are not making the path easy for themselves. We'll see if they can be successful. Cold's going to be going into mid quickly, I think. Oh, his teammates are. Indeed, it's going to be a very fast mid take here from Luminosity. And it's been abandoned by Liquid. So we have some similarities in the CT side. Adren is over towards the car position. Going to be keeping an eye on Z Connector. Simple is the CT AWP on this occasion. So things have changed here on the Liquid CT side. Yeah, one thing that Liquid were very good on their CT side in regular time was actually predicting exactly how Luminosity were going to attack in the round and making their setups dynamic. They always seem to, to have the right guesses and uh, definitely they must have been doing their homework on Luminosity, but can they continue that? It was a 9-6 half when they were on their T side, a CT side for Liquid. Look yeah. how passive Liquid are playing on both sides. They're playing super deep in the site. They want to get these 1v1s around the corners and not get picked off in isolation. Adren's moving close towards the B-bomb site. Had a bit of a wall bang there into checkers. And it seems Luminosity will have Fur watching the rotation through mid. And we're going to have a four-man B split. Hiko and Elige, will they be up for the challenge? The problem is if they Molotov the site now, I, there's no way Liquid can defend this. Let's see if they are able to find a Snowball's chance in hell. But with that said, there's no Molotov just yet. Luminosity don't have any. And uh, they left actually to throw it into the bomb site. So Liquid actually looked like they could be pretty okay in this position if they just hit their shots. But Taco's the one to find the finish onto Elise. Hiko with a quick trade, but he's low. And FNX will take him down. Now just three players here for Liquid as they rotate in. They'll get the incendiaries in there, but can't quite deny the plant. And again, this is a very rough situation for Liquid. Maybe you can find some wall bangs through here. Dren just slightly off there on the angle. And here they go, Simple will be in, uh, behind Nitro, but both will find the same fate. Taco's AK-47 straight to the face. And Fallen finishes off the round, and Liquid now against match point from Luminosity. Everything is against them. Liquid is 
Liquid is probably thinking right now if they're gonna give mid to Luminosity once again, or if they're gonna try to fight for it. Have Liquid come to the end of the line? This is their map pick. They've lost Luminosities. Both maps going to overtime. You can see the economy is limited on the Liquid side. They're playing passive A at the moment. Elige over towards A main, and Luminosity also going to run that clock for the time being, it seems. They smell the desperation of the Liquid side, and uh, they will enjoy it. Taco, though, has just rushed straight into the A site, and he will see that it's completely clear. And Liquid will have no idea that he's on the site. Nitro goes down for free. Liquid are in trouble. This is such an odd situation, considering that uh, the push is coming into B. Adrenal actually hit the frag onto Taco. Eco is alone on the B bomb site, which is where Luminosity is still moving, but Cole will take down Elise on the rotation. Hiko needs a big, big play to save his team in this round, and he's got a guy going towards headshot. It's fur. The spray comes in. The flames are making it difficult, but what can Hiko do? He's got FNX jumping through the smoke, and Adren needs a one versus four retake with an AWP. And there it is, Cold is gonna take his head off and Luminosity will find themselves in the grand finals against Na'Vi. Luminosity, just too much to handle for Team Liquid, but they've done their country proud and they took Luminosity to the limit on both maps. We are set for a very strong final tomorrow between the two top teams, two of the best teams in the world. But really, Liquid did a great job to come this far to uh, raise the flag for North America and take it to this point in the tournament. Yeah, I'm very impressed by Liquid in this series. The only problem they have is they just couldn't take that last round. I think if they just would have taken the timeout earlier, really discussed, okay, we have a lot of rounds to play with, we can actually take big risks, and if we just keep taking big risks, risks it's going to work out at least one time. But I don't know, they, they just didn't have an answer to that double or auto, sni auto sniper setup by Luminosity. And we've got to hand it to Luminosity for some massive plays in very, very critical moments when the pressure was really on. The first one that we saw of, of such was from Cold with the crazy 4K on Mirage, on the B Apartments. Something I'm not sure I will see for again for a very, very long time. But that sent Luminosity into this crazy comeback when they, when they I mean, I, if he didn't get that double with the AWP there, it's very possible they don't even win that round, or at least their economy is put into a horrible state and it should give Liquid a very good chance to close. But Luminosity, they just could not be put down in this series. So big credit to them. It's definitely a championship quality to keep the spirits high and maintain the composure. Well, the leader, the talisman for Luminosity is on the stage with Red Eye for an interview. Well, mission accomplished. Grand final for Luminosity Gaming. It must sound absolutely amazing for you. Can you put into words what it means to you, your team and Brazilian Counter-Strike? Well, to be honest, it's like uh, accomplishing a dream for us. Uh, we have been fighting so much in the last years to get here. And tomorrow we're going to have the chance to bring the biggest title in CSGO ever. Okay, well congratulations on that. Let's talk a little bit about the match because it's an incredible game. Uh, you came back from the brink of map point again and again and again in game one. And then again in map two, 15-6 down to come back and two lots of overtime. Uh, how does that work? Uh, it looks like it's taking a while to start playing well. Uh, <laughs> happened in both maps and I think uh, the, more, the more we're playing, I think we're getting resilience. I think this thing is evolving, it's getting more experience, and you have to believe. You have to go full heart, and have to believe if ever, uh, every time on our team. Uh, we have excellent players, and we can manage to come back, and I think this was the greatest series I have ever won. Okay, that's, that's brave words. I, I do want to talk about Liquid, because fabulous game from them as well. They played very well in both games, and yet fall short. You know what that's like when you've played so well, and yet it doesn't quite work out. Have you got any words for them? Well, I think it must feel terrible for them uh, because the way they lost. But they played very well. I think they done more than what I expected from their team on this tournament. They props to them. They played very well, and they're a very strong team. And I think the North American scene at all is evolving a lot. I have been looking for the past results, and more and more teams getting better and close to the top level. I'm glad that Team Liquid did a great show, such as CLG on this tournament. Uh, it's good for our scene. Thank you so much. Okay. Great words, thank you very much. Fallen, the grand final is confirmed. This man is going to the grand final. Na'Vi versus Luminosity. 
and it's tomorrow. We've still got a little bit more, though. Stay tuned.